I had to look for my glasses. All right, well, first things first, let's make sure that the audio is going. Hello, hello, audio. Test, 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 test. I love you. You're beautiful. All right, what other audio do I have running right now? That and that. Okay. So, I'm trying out some new audio settings, right? I might need to lower one of them, which I think I'm going to do right now because I see... I see some audio peakage, right? And we don't want that. We need to avoid that at all costs. So let's just do that real quick. Put that down by two decibels, probably. Should be enough. Close that. Test, 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 test. All right, a little bit of peakage, but nothing too bad. Nothing too bad. All right. So, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man, machine, everything within between, right? We're doing Mass Effect. I wanted to do, um, oh shit. First name is Chad, baby. Please log in to access your profile. Usually I would name my character Chad Wellington, but this game, your last name has to be Shepard, so, uh, so his middle name will be Wellington. Chad Wellington Shepard, right? Let's see, select bonus talent. I, I don't remember any of these. Barrier throw. Uh, we're gonna go with barrier. Profile reconstruction complete. Profile reconstruction. Press X to begin or to go back. Wait, what? I didn't wait. You did not let me choose any of my stuff. Please wait, hold log up. in to access your wait, profile. Wait, whoa. Okay, hold up. Start new. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. I don't know why they Classified instantly said, yo, you're a soldier. Requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure yes. connection confirmed. Okay. Oh, because I clicked John Shepard, of course. New ID. Sorry, my bad. Mail. There we go. Chad. Chad Wellington Please Shepherd. log in to access your profile. There we go. That's what I want. So we're going to be playing Mass Effect, right? I wanted Warning. to start doing Final detected. Fantasy VII Please original. Reconstruct so then we can do Final Fantasy VII uh, remake down the road before the second game comes out. Right? Before the second remake comes out, Rebirth. Um, actually, on top of that, I would have to do Crisis Core and then Dirge of Cerberus and all that stuff. But, you know, you know, right? I want to get that out the way before Rebirth comes out. But, since Final Fantasy 16 is out right now, and I'm playing that, you know, by myself as well. Um, and everyone else is probably streaming or playing Final Fantasy 16 or talking about it. There's no point to do 7 right now, because I feel like nobody would really care about it. So, uh, yeah. We're doing Mass Effect instead. And then I'll see what I need to do before uh, certain games come out, right? All right, let's see. What the fuck? Pre-service history. Both of your parents were Alliance military. You were born and raised on Mindor. I don't, I don't even know if I'm saying that correct. Small border colony in the Atlantic Traverse. you 16. Slayers raided. Uh, slaughtering your family and friends. Save. Blah, blah. Earthborn. Orphan raised. Okay, well, we're Chad Wellington. And Chad Wellington comes, comes from... You know, comes from a steamed family, so I guess we're going with Spacer. Also, what's really funny, I believe, uh, it's either like Colonist or, uh, oh no, it's my bad. It's, um, one, one of like the past history things you grab, like, just becomes completely invalidated because of Mass Effect 2 and the fact that you're hanging out with Cerberus, right? But Spacer, Confirm we're gonna go psychological there. Profile. During your service military, you went honorably, uh, wrong, trapped in extreme survival conditions, you overcome psych, uh, physiological and psychological stress, blah, 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 survive while all those around you fell, and now you are a lone survivor. Okay, you risk your life, save your soldiers, defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds, bravery, heroism, ruthless, I'm ruthless, yeah, I'm ruthless. Throughout your military career, you have held fast to one basic rule, get the job done, called cold, calculating, and brutal. Reputation and ruthless, especially makes you a fellow soldier wary of you, but 
when failure is not an option, military always goes, uh, always goes first. So, when it comes to Chad Wellington, for those of you who have watched my other playthroughs and other things, Chad Wellington has a certain, 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 you know, certain personality about him. I would choose Ruthless, but Chad Wellington will not be that Ruthless, right? So, War Hero is the only option, even though I don't feel that War Hero would be like the right title, just be, be more like a good leader. Confirm Strict, military good. specialization. Alright, here's the important part. What the fuck is your playstyle? Um, let's see. Not gonna be soldier. It's pretty boring, pretty mundane, right? I mean, you can use guns and shit and that's good, right? But it's pretty boring. Engineer, um, it's pretty okay in this game. I don't think it's the best, but it's definitely helpful towards like, more towards like the end of the game, right? Considering the main enemies that you're fighting, you know, since you're, uh, you're hacking and shit. Adept, you wanna be a space wizard? You wanna be a space wizard, right? And then you have a combination of, of, uh, of them. Infiltrator, I believe, is a combination of soldier and tech. Sentinel is, uh, what you call it? Uh, I call it the tech, my bad. Engineer in, uh, engineer and fucking, whatchamacallit? Magic Boy. And Vanguard is soldier and magic boy. Right? I feel like, when it comes to Chad Wellington, He's not really someone who does brute strength, right? So I feel like, although I feel like Vanguard would be great, maybe, maybe it's not the best for Chad Wellington. I want to play the character Chad Wellington, right? I want to do what I think he would do. So chances would be Sentinel, probably. Combined biotics and tech abilities. Typically, they use biotic abilities and advanced healing skills to defend allies. Though they can also disrupt opponents with biotic attacks, they're more efficient at tech and biotics than any other class, but at the expense of combat, Sentinels can only wear light armor and receive no specialized weapon training. I feel like that would fit, that would fit, um, Chad Wellington. Pretty good, pretty good. Alright. With that said, Chad, uh, bonus talent. Shotguns is pretty good in this game. I mean, yeah, shotguns are pretty good in this game. Assault rifles are great. Snipers are good when you know how to use them. But there's only one that we can really go with here, so... Hmm. What do I really want to do? Sniper would definitely be useful in certain places where shotguns wouldn't, but we're going to go with assault rifle because it's a pretty, pretty facial good... Uh, identification. You know, pretty good, like, mid-range. Change appearance! We gotta get Chad Wellington in here as as best as we possibly can. So first thing first, the hair, which really sucks in Mass Effect, right? I'm playing this on the PS5, by the way. Uh, I should be playing this on the PC, honestly, but um, I didn't feel like I didn't feel like I didn't feel like booting it up on my PC. So sadly, we're not really gonna be having. Chad Wellington hair or anything like that because, uh, you know, military hair. Isn't that fun? But the closest to our boy Chad would probably be this one, maybe. Probably be this one. Or maybe this one. Got a, got a fucking hairline is so high up on his head. <laughs> and look at that fucking widow's peak. Oh my god. No, look at this fucking widow's peak. Yikes. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Maybe I should have played this on PC. You know what? Next time, if I can set it up next time, uh, We'll do it on, we'll do it on PC. Jeez. 
Jesus, I hate all these hairstyles. I hate them all. They're all so fucking bad and terrible. Uh, Chad Wellington is a, is a clean shaved boy. Browse. Your color. Where's our ashen wand? Man, these are not good colors. <laughs> these are terribly bad. You can't even really do blonde, huh? So bad, so bad. We're not gonna be having any facial hair, so that's whatever. Scars, no, our boy is beautiful. Even though scars could be totally fucking hot. I'm looking at you, Siri. What's up? Okay. Let's see if I can... Maybe... Get this going. Actually, hold up. Before we do that facial structure. They all just go for, like... Standard military dude. Which makes it like really hard to make like a good looking shepherd. The fuck is this? That's super pale. The lighting in here is fucking terrible too, honestly. So, can't really get a good feel for what the fuck I want. Whatever. If I end up switching this to fucking PC. We'll, uh, we'll fix it up. Neck thickness. Boy, got a tree trunk neck. Face size. Cheek width. Cheek bones. Stop moving your head, fucker. Get the side profile. You can't even really get, like, a side profile. Oh, here you go. He gaunt? Oh. Ear size? I'm not really gonna fuck with that. Ear orientation? Not really gonna fuck with that. You can't really do much. Jaw? Make him the fucking crimson chin? Chin depth? I don't think I need to really mess with that. Eh. Chin width. that jaw up. Make that face a little bit more like triangular. You know what I mean? Mouth shape. Give me some real kissable lips. And not gonna mess with too much. Mouth. Dead. Turn your head, Shepard. Thank you. With size, mouth height, yeah, that's a pretty good height. Nose, try to make him as much as a pretty boy as we can. I say maybe this one nose pointed upwards. I guess kind of maybe nose height. Look at me, Shepard. And that's a good height. Nose depth. And I don't really have to mess with that. Eyes, eye shape. God, it's so hard to get you to stop moving your fucking head. <laughs> stop moving your head. I'm trying my best here. Yeah, no, these are these are dead soulless eyes. Yeah, sure. Why not? My height width is pretty good. Death. 
I don't think I need to change it. Oh, maybe I do. It's pretty light. Eyes are pretty like sunken into his face. Brow height. Bones. Iris color. Kind of like widen his eyes a bit. It's like Shepard fucking has a fear of opening his eyes or some shit. Come on, man. Why are they all, like, so closed and slanted? Like, this is the only one where it's, like, kind of open, but, like, the bottom lid just... God. <laughs> and he looks sad on this one. He looks sad. And this one just looks racist. It's-a me. John Shepard. <laughs> Did I just do a racism? It's alright, it's alright, it's okay. It's alright, it was all in good fun. God, all these eye shapes are fucking garbage. Yeah, there's no way to like, open his eyes a little more. I kinda wanna... Change up. What do I want to change? It's under hair, right? I don't want to change up the brows. They're a little too pointed, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, they're like too pointed. I guess these are fine. Get back to head shape real quick. Face size. Oh, I see. That's what that does. Okay. Cheek width. We put that as low as we can go. I'm trying to... Cheek bones that I want? No, because if I fuck with the cheekbones too much, then, like, you get this weird... Like, this weird profile shit going on. Like, they're a little too pointy. What the fuck? Which one is that? Is it gone? Stop moving your fucking head, please, for fuck's sake. I don't know. We'll probably fix them up in Mass Effect 2, maybe, when they give us more options, or maybe I'll just fucking find a way to transfer or save or some shit. His face is so small. <laughs> so small. Eh, it's not that bad, though. Alright. Eyes. Uh, Iris color. That's what we gotta do. Our boy Chad Wellington has... Fuck. What, what did I give him in his artwork? Purple eyes? I think he has purple eyes. These are more like Harry Winkle, I guess. Let me see. Those are brown eyes, right? These are light brown and these are okay. Blue. Lighter blue. Kind of a gray. Yeah, no or closest one to purple is this, but it's like too bright a purple, right? Yeah, it's the closest purple we got. Last things last. Just want to get the skin tone right. That's just undead. <laughs> That's all the life drained from your body. That's just... Not right. Okay, what the fuck? It's one of these two. 
I'm gonna say it's this one. It has some actual color on his fucking skin. Instead of like this pasty white Oh no. This is pasty white. Oh god. There we go. There we go, I guess. I guess we're good now. Talk us a bit, but we're, we're good now. Closest we'll get to Chad Wellington. All right, finalization. Let's do it. Profile reconstruction complete. We're good. Identification confirmed. Normal. Auto level up. Off. We're going to do legendary mode because classic mode is a pain in the ass. Subtitles on, of course. Squad power usage. Squad AI will use all available talents. Defensive. Protect themselves or others. Nah, they can just go and use all. Yeah. We can just do that. I hope I have well, the game audio set Shepard? right. He's a spacer, if not, I will start crying. Starships most of his life. Military service runs in the family. Both his parents were in the Navy. Oh my god, I forgot about fucking Keith David. Fuck. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And, and Ambassador Udina done. fucking sounds like he's a goddamn G-Man. From Half-Life. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of ancient uh, spacefaring civilization and decades follow the mysterious events. Revealed blah, 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 technology has enabled travel to further stars. The basis of incredible technology was a force that can control the very fabric of space and time. They called it the great discovery in human history. The civilization of the galaxy called it Mass Effect. Good thing I finished it in time. Good thing I was able to read that. I'm awesome. Knowledge is power. Did you guys know that... The Arcturus Prime Relay is in range. <laughs> that mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> I had to. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring Joker, what are you doing on my ship? Aren't you supposed All to be in the asylum? Transit. Aren't you dead? It's me, Chad. Oh my god, that is that is the most fucking I'm Chad Wellington like smirk on his fucking face. So, we're playing Chad Wellington, right? It's kind of strict. It's kind of a strict guy. So, Mostly Two, probably gonna be doing one. Renegade. Even though I myself, like everyone else, prefers Paragon. But we're probably gonna Thrusters, be doing mostly Renegade. Check. Navigation. Check. Thing about Internal Renegade and Mass Effect 1 though is that Renegade just means All that you're a space line. racist. Drift. Just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Why, Joker? Because he's an top. alien. So you hate him. Hi, Karth. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. Only an idiot believes the official story. I agree. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting on. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before Look at those the prime. sexy thighs I got. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, Sexy sir. space thighs. Your way. Joker He's wish he had thighs like this. He can't though. Tell Commander his legs are all fucked the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Hmm. Great. You pissed the captain off, and now I'm going to pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. 
Only one who's talking to you, Joker. Two Paragon points. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm gonna try and play as close as to the character of Chad Wellington as possible. So we might be getting some Paragon, but I hope that most of it leads to Renegade. All right. I don't think if I really talk to anyone here that it will change anything. I guess we can talk to uh, Presley. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But Look at how fucking admit, angular my head is. This mission. The whole crew feels it. I'm like fucking Buzz Lightyear from Star Command. Hmm. Info's on a need-to-know basis, Presley. Just follow the orders you're given. Understood, Commander. Yeah, you fucking space racist. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of It's Dr. Chaquez! Man, they made her super hot in this version of the game. She's supposed to be think, like we won't be an, staying oh on Eden God, Prime too long, Jenkins. will we? I mentioned for First some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in yeah, the Yeah, Chakwas is supposed to be like an older woman, right? Like, probably like late 50s, maybe. But, um, in this remake, remake, remaster, they just made her fucking hot. <laughs> like, damn. Doctor's right. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Don't play the hero, this loser. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess Don't it up. Don't fuck it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. Better not. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. I love you, Chakwes. I mean, even if she wasn't hot, fucking like, she's really goddamn cool. It's Nihilus! Hi, Nihilus. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I'm a Marine, not some tourist on vacation. It's more than just a tourist destination, isn't it, Shepard? Eden Prime is a symbol of your people. A perfect little world on the edges of your territory. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? What's your point? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I don't know, that's up to them. I think it's about time we told the commander what's really going God. on. God. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Fucking, his face is so melty. <laughs> I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. They're that's like, we're gonna we try and make our best. Original. We're gonna try and make him look as best as we can. But at the end of the day, Anderson's face just looks like it's melting. Let's see. I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team... The thing I just said to fucking Presley. some Prostley. kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Hmm. What else can you tell me? This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But so Eden basically Prime the Protheans the facilities to are just an ancient uh, civilization, bring the ancient alien the civilization that we don't know that much about. Obviously this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species there's a lot of, of uh, space. There's a lot of, um, like dialogue options like this over here, which will lead to you just asking a bunch of questions. And if we do that, it's just gonna, the playthrough's just gonna take forever. So for the most part, I'll try and explain it as best as I can, right? see also also what kind of what's kind of weird about mass effect one is that for the most part you have uh paragon and renegade which is basically like uh your personality checks you know chaotic or lawful or whatever right 
and then you have the middle option which really is again neutral and doesn't really do anything that kind of limits you a bit because you get bonuses later down the road for having um you know either really high paragon or really high renegade so most of the time choosing the middle option just kind of fucks you out of that in the gameplay sense so most of the time the uh the option up here would be for paragon and the option down here would be for renegade later on in the uh mass effect series they would uh kind of color code them so you know like what you're getting from from what right and then Andromeda, they tried to get rid of it completely, which was completely dog shit, and nobody wanted that. We can handle this on our own, unless something goes wrong. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. Since when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. And what if I refuse? I don't like people making decisions about my future. This isn't about you, Shepard. Humanity needs this. Uh, fuck humanity. On you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. I am ready. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! I'm gonna check the audio real quick. Just make sure that it's as good as I think it is. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. Testing audio, repeat, test, test, test. We can't. Test Get one, back. two, three, they one, two, came three. Out of nowhere. We need. Uh, we should be fine. Maybe. Maybe I'll maybe I'll lower it. Everything cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the thirty-eight point five. Status report. Seventeen minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike okay, team I lowered it a bit. without drawing attention. So hopefully, it's our best chance to secure the beacon. Hopefully, the audio is like more. Grab your gear and now. meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Suit up. Every time I hear that, flashback to how I met your mother. Just Barry going. Suit up. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. I move faster on my own. A small jog. Nihilus will scout out ahead. <laughs> also, he just like jumped the out of the fucking. Otherwise, I want radio silence. <laughs> just jumped out of there, right? I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Whoa. On our side. Whoa. All right. Maybe that wasn't the best choice. Calm down. Calm down. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. I don't like putting my two. life in the hands of a. Fucking space alien. Space rat. Saving content. Alrighty. Completely forgot how to play this game. What the f is 
place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. There we go. I'm gonna start shooting. So here in Mass Effect, right, one at least, you do not have to worry about... Oops, that was the grenade button. Square is your grenade button. Aim. Wait, hold up. Can I pick this back up? I think I can, actually. Nope. I blew myself up. Switch weapons for your squad. I think we're good, Commander. Do I only have a... Oh, I gotta actively press that button. Uh, Kaiden, I want you... I want you using that. Jenkins, I don't, I don't give a fuck what you use. All right, how do I, it's X, right? Yep, it's our sprint. So we got ourselves our little shield meter, our health meter, right? They made it more uh, more uh, streamlined in the legendary edition because in the original game, it looked ugly as fuck, right? And then I believe we take cover automatically or there's like a crouch button or something. Jenkins! No! They got him. Oh shit. Fuck out my way, Kaiden. Oh my god, Kaiden, move. I do not have good range. Oh no! Jenkins! He's dead. They killed them. Good about his ass. Leave him. We need to finish the mission. Aye, aye, sir. Sorry, Jenkins. I'm renegade. I lost my. Where did, they, did it turn me around? Yeah, it did. What the fuck? Meta gels need to heal injuries. Omni gel can be used to decrypt bullshit and hack shit. Boom. Bang. I forgot how to use my abilities. I'm not gonna kill my squad. Oh, here we go. All right. So you, uh, you have different abilities based on, uh, you know, what you're rocking with. Kaiden over here is a bionic, so he can use throw and sabotage. Wait, is he a bionic or is he a fucking... Is he a sentinel like me? I think we're both sentinels. Huh, well, he has bionic abilities, right? Bionic just means you got magical space shit. They'll, uh, go into that later. And since this is a drone using sabotage on it, it's pretty good. Pretty good. If I can aim it correctly. Wow. That's my sabotage right there. I done fucked up. Oops. And then you have that on cooldown. I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. Alright. Now, we have our level up bullshit, right? You head to your squad. We're using the legendary version of the level up system, not the classic. So basically, they give you more points to work with, I believe, and it's fun. First thing you should do immediately, though, right, is either put stuff into Charm or Intimidate. Because these will help you with your Paragon and Renegade bullshit, right? Intimidate's for Renegade, and Charm is for uh, Paragon. For some reason, I have more Paragon than I do Renegade. Which I don't know why, because I've been choosing Renegade options. So, uh, I'm gonna put three points into Renegade here. Right? Uh, some of the options, conversation to grade out if you do not have a high enough skill. Good. I'll try to catch up with you at I'm the gonna have side. to try and choose uh, more Renegade options because I do want to do Renegade Shepherd. Ow. That's pain. Pain hurts. Fucking Kaiden. Please leave. Please get out of my way. What am I getting shot by? Oh. Go! Uh oh. Kaiden. Sabotage it. Good job. I believe in you, Kaiden. I know you can do it all along. I can't wait for you to 
like not need to be on my team. Oh, hey, look, it's the space racist. What are you doing to that man? Unhand him. Ooh, never mind, you can keep him. These are the Geth. They are cool ass fucking space robots. I love them. I'm a hero. Check this shit out. Guess what? The guests, they're robots. Boom. Sabotage. Suck it, losers. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? I need a status report. Now. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Hmm. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? For Fonzies. They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Lieutenant Olenko and I will take care of this. Let me come with you, sir. The Geth slaughtered my unit. Give me a chance to get even. She knows the area, Commander. And we could use the extra firepower. Fine, I guess the racist can join us. Just don't forget who's in charge. Understood, Commander. You give the orders and I'll follow them. Let's Move go. On. So one thing I want to point out for people who don't know, I assume most people would know if you care about a Mass Effect, but um, if you're new to Mass Effect, hello, this is Mass Effect. Anyways, uh, Shepard over here, our main character, has the N7 insignia on his suit. N7 is basically like a space program for like super cool badasses that are like, hey, you got to do some real super cool badass shit. Like we're going to drop you in an, in a fucking un like a inhabitable fucking planet and you're just going to have to survive for a month or some shit. And most people who do the N7 program either die doing it or give up, right? And there's definitely one character that we meet later on who has uh who was I believe who went and did the N7 program or was nominated for the N7 program, but they just decided not to do it, not because they were scared or anything, but because they just honestly did not give a fuck about it, right? Over here, they're going to tell us how to move our, uh, the thing's going to tell us how to move our unit. All right. Hopefully now for oh, part of fire. Thank you. You going to tell me how to, how to tell my guys where to go? Because I forgot how to do that. I think it's just the, I think it's just the button. Yeah. Just the directional pad. You can tell your teammates where the fuck to go. Uh, approach low objects with crouch. Then you do that. Crouching also helps with your aiming, like it's fucking Grand Theft Auto 4. Remember that? Remember that? Everyone crouching and rolling all over the place? And then your directional pads can, uh, tell your enemies where to, enemies, tell your, uh, teammates where to go. Throw a grenade with square. Yay! And then circle is your melee button. Melee in this game is very funny, and I like it. Let's see how the melee works. What's up, bitch? Uh, uh. Bad. Bad boy. And that's how you do it. Now my shields are gone. My health is getting fucked. Who's, who's shooting at me? I did it. I'm a good guy. <clears throat> I keep forgetting. <laughs> Square's your grenade. There's no reload in this game. Because in Mass Effect 1 have weapons that overheat, right? Oh my god, that sound effect is so fucking loud. Wow, I think I'm actually going to lower that. It's pretty loud, honestly. Um, sounds... I'm going to lower it even more. See, that should be good, right? Eh, kind of, maybe. Who knows? This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. 
Let's get moving. Williams, where's the camp? It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Mass Effect also does that shitty thing that, that some games did, like, uh, like Wolf Among Us, where your dialogue options will say, like, one thing, and then your character will not do the thing that it says. Right? Uh, shotgun, centaur, whatever. I wish they would tell me if I had these items or not. You can choose to reduce them to Omnigel, which you use to, like, hack shit, or you can just take them, right? I think I'm just gonna reduce it to Omnigel, though. All of it. Do -do -do -do. I don't think music is supposed to play here, because it's, it's very fucking quiet. Oh no, it's kind of some music. Eh, I get. I guess the music is lower than I thought. Oh yeah, I forgot to give uh, Kaiden and Ashley their stuff. Um, let's see. Reduces recharge time of abilities. Disruption barrier throw. Um, you can. I'm just gonna up your Sentinel stuff, honestly, as much as I can. One, two. And then for... Oh, you can also take their helmets off and stuff if you want. Ashley is our soldier of the group, right? She's good with guns, and that's it. So, for the most part, combat armor. Increases damage protection, grant shield boost, unlocks heavy armor, shoulder, allows, allows limited health regeneration. That's good. You usually want to level up their, like, actual, like, feats rather than their abilities for the most part. Especially later on when you get the Krogan. Right? Um and then we also have equipment here that you can mess with. I'm gonna put that on. It's not our N7 armor, but it's better though. So Eh, you know what? I'll eh, for the first mission we'll just keep we'll just keep the base stuff for the first mission. We don't have to worry too much for it. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. I'm big on aesthetics. Right. Oh god, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? So these are husk. Basically, the Geth have made these people into some kind of fucking weird zombie guys. They run around all stupidly, right? But don't let them get close to them. It'll be bad. It'll be bad and it will hurt. And oh my god, that is just... <laughs> I'm just gonna... We're just gonna... What the ever-living fuck? And I'm gonna up this, actually. Sound effect. The shooting. Okay, there we go. That's what I want. Man, you gotta put it down to 20% to not sound crazy? Jesus. What's going on in here? Easy decryption. I believe it's like Simon says, yeah? Repeat the button sequence. So, uh... Square, 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 square. Easy. Open this door. Humans. Thank the Maker. Hurry! Close the door! Before they come back! Why are you whispering? How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Did they say they came here for Manuela the beacon, or were they looking for bacon? The they the may have came, just ran out of bacon, them off long and they just wanted to. Hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Dude, shut the fuck up. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius so he's and autistic? madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. I can shut him up for you. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Karate chop. <laughs> oh my god. What did you do? That might have been a little extreme, commander. Kaiden shut the fuck up. You can't just go around whacking people in the head. 
Yeah, he's all right. Just a little bump on the head. Let him sleep it off. I suppose you're right. But you're damn right. The She's like, you know what? In. You had a point. Uh. Cool. <laughs> so what about the attack? What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there. Then everything changed. Move, once the Fire Nation until attacked. You came along. Yeah, so sometimes axing, uh, axing. I'm from, I'm from New York, so we say axing. Asking questions. Asking all them questions. Uh, will actually provide some usefulness to you, right? Like we just got the opportunity to whack that dude in the face. So, uh, yeah. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? Miraculous new technologies? Groundbreaking medical advances? The possibilities are endless. Did you notice a Turian in the area? No, I'm sorry. We haven't left the shed since the attack. Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. We got nine renegade points. I'm renegade, renegade. Upgrade kit. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna grab that. Did I just step in fire? Saren. Hi, it's me. My name be Saren. Nihilus. Nihilus. You can tell that I'm evil. Just by looking at my fucked up Saren. robot arm. What are you doing here? The council mm -hmm. thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. And that sound was Nihilus <laughs> learning something. <laughs> Anyways, you may have noticed by now that the Turians have like this bit of robotic-esque like, like reverberance on their voice. So basically in Mass Effect, you may be saying, oh, it's crazy how everybody just speaks English, right? Wrong. Every character has like these automatic translators, right? That will just translate to whatever is necessary for someone else to understand, right? Which, honestly, for that scene right there, I don't understand why both the Torians are speaking English. Because that wouldn't make any sense, like, if it was, you know, translating things. But basically, the robotic sound effect on their voices is their translators. So they're still speaking in their own tongue. It's just being, you know, transmuted, I guess, through the, uh, through the translators. The crate. Open this up. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is you it look safe? Evil. Are they gone? Stop right Nobody there. Nobody moves a muscle until we know who you are. Nice going, Cole. I told you we should have stayed hidden. Nice job, Cole. It's okay. We're all Idiot. on the same side here. We're just farmers. We've been hiding ever since that ship first showed up. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only, it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! Maybe. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. 
We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. All right. Well, thank you for the information. Goodbye, sir. Go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you got to learn when to shut up. Uh, I don't like being lied to. If there's something you're don't not know. telling me. Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. Mmm, that's illegal. You greedy bastard. You weren't running for your life. You were running to check on your merchandise. No, it's not like that. I just I just knew there were some packages here, something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Bullshit, you got more. Oh, damn it. Help. Let's move out. <laughs> My finger slipped and I chose the wrong option. He definitely had more, by the way. But anyways, let us move. I don't think if I don't think I can check in here, right? Electronic skill is too low. That's what you need decryption for. So I gotta start leveling that up because I am a uh, what you call it, sentinel. So I should be able to do that. And so is Kaden. And later on we will get a character who's just a straight up hacker. Nihilus! Commander, it's Nihilus. Oh man. What happened it's to you, Uriel. buddy? You know him? He's a Spectre. He was with us on the norm. Something's moving over behind those crates. Shoot it. Wait! Don't don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Fuck you. <laughs> Are what are you? you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Other one? What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Hmm. Then what happened? Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. So the guest didn't find you. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? That's pretty cool, buddy. <laughs> hey, work smarter, not harder. Am I right? Now everybody's fucking dead. Huh. That's fine. That's fine. You're yeah, that's fine. I don't even I don't even feel like badgering that guy. We need to find that, that was a smart before move. it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. All this murder. I'm gonna go back behind the crates and sleep. All right, let's check over here. Ooh, that is just a burnt body. Careful now, it's in the fire. I didn't even see this. Got some meta gel. Well, Nihilus, I guess you did move better on your own. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? I love how the guy's like, I can't handle this. I gotta go back behind the crates, and then there's just Geth. I know how to bring up the power wheel, okay? See, I'm doing it. Who shoot me? Who shot me? Which one of you dumb robotic bastards shot me? Now I'm gonna hack you. Well, first I gotta... There we go. Blow up. Damn it. He's still alive. Oh wait, no, I got him. Sweet. 
Can I reach there with my throat? Probably not. I don't think it reached that far. And that's what throw does. It kind of just ragdolls them, honestly. What the hell are you guys shooting at? There we go. Beautiful. Are we still fighting? Are we still fighting? Oh, come on. Oh, what the fuck are you shooting at, Kaden? That a oh, I see them. I think I see them. I think that's them, right? Bastards are hiding. Very good. There we go. Oh, wrong button. Um, hello. Thank you. Sabotage. Damn it. You, like, really gotta aim that. I pressed, <laughs> I pressed the square button again. Fucking grenade button. Damn it. I wanted to run back because I'm pretty sure there's, like, stuff back there, but... Damn it. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Leave no evidence that we were here, except for the human bodies and husk we have impaled on giant space needles. What are you doing, you space slug? They kind of got like slug bodies. That's such a cool fucking pose. My man did that because he knew the camera was looking. Alrighty. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Great. We got four minutes to do it. Five minutes. Four and a half minutes. It's okay, guys. I got this. I'm Shepard. I'm cool. Which really sucks is that you can't really turn all that much when you're running. You just kind of... You gotta commit, you know? There we go. Hi there, buddy. Kaboom. You're a robot. That's your weakness. There we go. Just gonna shoot that force field to get it out of my way. Ouch, that really hurt. Super badly. Snipers are bad. <laughs> Snipers are bad. Damn it. What do you got, Ashley? Oh, you don't got nothing, Ashley. Oh, because I gotta I gotta level her up. I gotta level her up to put her stuff on her. And we'll do that later. It's not important right now. There we go. I did it. Just want to see if there's any other items around that I can probably turn to Omni Gel, maybe. Nope. Stop. Get out of there. Anything over here? Nope. Let us continue, team. Onward to the beacon. Onward to the Kevin Beacon. My favorite. Oh, is this not? I thought that was a crate. that motherfucker down. Ah! Blow up! Kaboom. Is 
Sometimes aiming from the hip is- Fuck, I gotta learn to stop doing that. Damn it. I'm just gonna shoot it. Oh, damn it. It's not even gonna go unless I fucking do it. Okay, before you head to the beacon, just wanna... Grab what's in this crate. Try and grab what you can around because I believe the story will progress. Is this a safe? I think that's a safe. Storage locker. Is there money in here? What's really fucking weird about the sound effects is that, like, all the other sound effects are very low and quiet, but the shooting is the fucking loudest thing in the game. Like, I get it, right? Guns are loud, but come on now. <sighs> like, I want, I want to hear the footsteps and stuff. We'll compromise. We'll put it at 40. Alright? We'll compromise. That way I can kind of hear stuff. God, it's so loud. Oh, by the way, a uh, potential epilepsy warning for those uh, very sensitive to light, because I believe some mind fuckery might happen here. It was, what, 2006 this came out, I think? Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Ouch. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. I love how she fucking it cleared her voice. <laughs> she had to like clear her throat before they coming. She's like, I'm about to deal with some Carl. bullshit. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. <laughs> I love how she just fucking sidesteps it. Damn, Saren, calm down. Jesus. Like, his freakout is almost as, like, ridiculous as, uh, as Solid Snake Doctor, and, and, like, Dr. the twin Tuckwa, snakes when he I almost shoots, up. shoots that guy, right? He's like, I gave him half the code. You did what? And he points his gun at you him. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Like shit. Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Fuck you, Ashley. I expect better of my people, Williams. You endangered our entire mission. <laughs> she looks so fucking so worried. Hard on her commander. We have no idea if that's what actually set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. Hmm. I don't suppose it occurred to you that Eden Prime has medical facilities? 
Everyone's Listen, dead. You're better off in this infirmary than in any hospital on Eden Prime. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in a beta? eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. I saw hmm. big I've booty bitches. To my report. It may... oh. So many. Captain Anderson. Too much ass right, for one man. Up, well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Why are you on my ship, Ashley? You're not part of my crew. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. I mean, you guys, if you're doing... If Intel was there, I would assume they have some sort of reconnaissance. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure you can, you know, just point a camera at them. They're fucking robots with giant flashlights in their face. Okay. I'm pissed off about the Geth. Why is Ashley... <laughs> Why the fuck... Why is Ashley here? Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Mm, that's a mistake. She almost got me killed. I don't want her on my ship. I don't I'm want her. the captain of this ship, Commander. And I want Williams on our crew. Not for long. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? Oh my god, watching his eyes sink in the Things corner. Oh, bad. that's so gross. Nihilus is dead. Yeah, the I know. Was destroyed and Geth are invading. The council's going to want answers. Fuck the council. The council can kiss my ass. I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And don't do close-ups on fucking Anderson. It, he he doesn't look good. <laughs> I mean, I don't look better, but, you know, fucking... We both look like shit. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. Uh. They'll think I'm crazy. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Now, Shepard, I say we don't know what we're expecting down there. Ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. So he believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. There, like Mass Effect this has a bunch of like war. extra. He has the extra the lore beacon. shit. And like an novelizations and comics and shit like that. And I believe there's a novel the somewhere the that that's like you know it's a prequel and it's about Anderson and his connection to to a uh, Saren. Long story short, they don't like each other. Saren's a, a fucking human racist, you know, and he's a bad guy. And I believe he's got some of Anderson's people killed, right? Or he killed them themselves so, uh, himself. I don't know, but Saren is also a specter. Which, basically, what Spectres are is you're pretty much Agent 007. You don't answer nobody, you got a license to kill, and you're pretty much uh, the council, which is basically, you know, the, the headspace government, or whatever. They're like, hey man, within, within our legal area of space, you can work outside the law and do whatever the fuck you want. So, you can imagine how hard it is to uh, try and condemn Saren for doing some crazy shit like this when he's a specter. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. 
He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. When have they ever done anything for humanity? If we expose Saren as a traitor, the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. All right. Why is the frame rate like very choppy in here? It's not like a solid, it's not like a solid 60. I'm trying to see if there was anything in here for me. I don't think so. Look at my run. It's so weird. Hey, Commander. <sighs> All right. So here's another big part about Mass Effect. Big old big Mass Effect big part, right? <clears throat> so after I, I don't want to say every mission, at least for the first Mass Effect, maybe the second Mass Effect or the third one, I don't know. But after certain missions, certain characters will have additional dialogue, which you will build a reputation with them, which then you can do a certain, well, I think it's, in, is it in this game or is it in the second one? I think, yeah, no, it's also in this game. Uh, when you get to a certain, you know, certain level, each care, each party member has their own, um, like, loyalty mission that you can do, and if you succeed in loyalty mission, basically, they're loyal to you, and... You unlock extra stuff for them, and maybe down the road it'll have effects within the story. Mass Effect has multiple, multiple ways that the story can play out for you and your uh, party members. So it's important to it's important to keep hanging out with your party members, unless you don't like that party member and you can just ignore them, like Ashley here. But I'm not gonna ignore Ashley. Hi, After Ashley. what happened to Jenkins, the crew could use some good news. They'll be glad to hear you're okay. Why the fuck are you here? You're not assigned to this ship. Captain Anderson had me transferred to his command. Must have figured I knew what I was doing. You have a problem with me, Chief? You questioned my competence through the entire mission. That's my prerogative. Best way to stop that is to show me you're competent. But <laughs> I don't remember inviting you to come back to the ship with us. You didn't. Captain Anderson did. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see how that, how long that lasts. I need to go speak with Joker. Goodbye, Commander. Ah. Uh, you questioned me throughout the whole mission. You got me brain fucked by a machine. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Really, Kaiden? You don't have nothing to say to me? Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Fuck off. I'm gonna be honest. Out of like, mm, mm, I can't say out of all the Mass Effect games because fucking I haven't played three. But, in my opinion, out of, you know, Mass Effect 1 and 2, Ashley and Kaiden are the most fucking boring characters ever, right? They're just so fucking boring, right? Let me tell you what Ashley is. She's, she's space racist, uh, fucking super militaristic, and fucking just, just a hothead, right? It's basically what she is. So, if you weren't Renegade, she's basically Renegade for you, but in, like, the most, in the most, like, asshole way possible, right? And, you know, she has, she has reasons for being the way that she is, so she's not a terribly written character or anything like that. You know, it's just that, compared to other characters, she's boring, especially Waikaiden. I will give her benefit of the doubt. I think she is written way more fun than Kaiden is. Cause Kaiden's just your all around good boy, fucking boy scout, and fucking, he's so fucking boring. <laughs> he is so boring. He is so boring. He's boring as fuck. But like, almost every Bioware game that has like, a uh, morality system, or like, uh, or like, um, social system, or something like that with your characters, they're always gonna have a character like Kaiden, right? That's why when I saw him, I'm like, hi, Karth, cause there's a character that's just Karth. He's just Karth. He's just yes, he's just Commander? that character. Right? Is there something you need? Talk to me, Jacquez. I love you. Tell me about Kaiden. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. 
Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. An L2? What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. That will come into play later. And that will also come into play when we meet a certain group called Cerberus. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. And when to knows crack he the whip. Sometimes into. I let him crack the whip he on me. About the people under mm. his command. Anderson's a good guy. We love Anderson, right? He's awesome. He's uh basically he's you know, he's captain of the ship. He's great. He's a fucking you know, that that good commander that everybody wants, right? He's he's strict enough. Strict. Wow. What has uh, the way I pronounce that word just bothered me. He's he's strict when he needs to be, and he's passionate when he needs to be, and he's fair, and everybody likes that, right? He is a good guy. I don't think there's anyone who hates Anderson at all in this game series, right? Well, as for players, I, I don't think there's any player out there that's like, yeah, fuck Anderson, right? Udina, on the other hand, will learn about him. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Any regrets, girl? Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd I get to like touch their abandoned. rippling muscles. All right, that's cool. See you later. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. All right, let's go talk to Joker. Actually, this isn't the right area. Who the fuck are these? Is this Presley? No, it's just a guy that looks like Presley. Test, test, test. One, two, three. Test, test, test. I think the game might actually be louder than my voice. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to check that out. Let me just make sure that nothing is echoing where it doesn't need to be. Uh, Norm D vehicle bay. Oh, this is where you get equipment and stuff like that. This is not where I want to be right now. Elevator, back up. I basically went the wrong way. I'm supposed to head upstairs. Navigator Presley. Oh, wait, no, you're not the Navigator Presley. Where are you at? Navigator Presley! I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Yes, his name is Jenkins because Leroy Jenkins. Alright. So, checking items around the ship will unlock Codex. Codex, just give you a bunch of lore for Mass Effect. And if you care about the lore, all that stuff is very, very interesting. I am not being like facetious in any type of way. I, I hon just honestly believe that all the lore in Mass Effect is really interesting. It's written, eh, it's written well, right? It is definitely written well, but there are some times where you're like, that's that's kind of stupid, right? But I guess sometimes that's the point. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. All right, I'm gonna have to listen in on my audio here to make sure that make sure that it sounds good so I'm going to be talking a little bit weirdly because I'm going to be hearing myself look at 
the size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower Testing, too. testing, one, two, three, audio check, audio check. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. All right, Citadel it's pretty Control. okay. This is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. I Stand could lower it, Normandy. but I feel like it's, I feel like Clearance it's fine. Granted. You may begin your approach, transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower, Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. I feel like maybe the only time the game's audio might like overpower me is probably when like a lot of shit is happening on screen and it's meant to be louder. So maybe that might happen, but for but for now it's pretty it's it's on the level with me about just about. This is an outrage! The council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? Like right now, I feel like Odina would be louder than the me. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus system. Actually, let me check. Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went Talk, into the traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore test, our test, test, test. I three. demand action. You don't get to make demands of the council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like See, with this lighting, my, my character's order. hair is more yellow they were not happy about than what I thought it would be. Seren's their top agent. They so the lighting in the fucking- the lighting in the character creator is just bad. Alright. They're blind. I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get it's the not job my done. fault that Nihilus Instead, went out there and got himself Nihilus killed. Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. I hate you, Ashley. Shut up. Anyways, Udina there. Uh, if you thought Ashley was super renegade and super space racist, oh my god, Udina's even worse, right? So, Udina's pretty much our boss. He's the ambassador for the human race, right? For the, uh, for a Citadel Council. And guess what? That mission really, really fucked us up in our positioning here. Because not only... Not only does, a uh, not only that humans don't really have a place on the council, most races don't. Right now, the only races that have a place on the council is uh, the Salarians, the uh, the Salarians, the Torians, and the, uh, what the... What the fuck are they called? What are the blue bitches called? <laughs> um, uh, I am... Uh, why can't I remember the fucking name of that race? Oh my god. The... Uh, 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 mm. The, why can't I remember the name of that race? What the fuck, Codex? The Citadel Shut the up. Council is an executive committee. Oh man, they added voiceovers for this stuff. A sorry, that's what they are. That's what they called. Thank you. Um, they added voiceovers for like a good number of these, right? So that's really wonderful. I think some of them may have have had voiceovers originally. How how am I still? Better with Paragon. What the flying fuck? Are you serious? Anyways, I'm gonna up my decryption so that I can do all that. Unlock electronics. So now we can break into shit. Um. First aid. Do that. Deploy Meta Joe to wounded party members. Just gonna get like our abilities out, really. 
Barrier is pretty useful, right? Throw is pretty useful. Lift isn't as useful, but it's there. I mean, I mean, Bionics are kind of overpowered in Mass Effect 1, right? Because it just... Because instead of just doing raw damage, it also has the ability to just fucking, um... Just make enemies go limp. And it puts them out of commission for a bit, so you can just fuck them up. Right? Um... Let's see. Medicine, Neural Shock. Advanced Neural Shock. Knocks out organic enemies. Oh, shit. Assault Rifles Overkill. Recharge time, duration for six seconds. You basically you basically go into overcharge mode with your with your assault rifle. Um, I wonder if I want to do barrier right now. Eh, yeah, I can unlock barrier. And overload. You can use electronic skill on easy objects. Attacks enemy shields, which is very good. All right. Kaiden, I don't give a fuck what you do, honestly. <laughs> uh, Kaiden, actually putting stuff on your throw would be good. First aid doesn't really matter because they're not going to be healing motherfuckers. I'm going to be healing motherfuckers, honestly. Um... Actually, you know what? Have they been using my fucking meta gel? I, I haven't been paying attention. Oh, we can uh, change our stuff now if we want, which I should probably do. So we can only wear light armor though. And this is better. This is better than what I already got, so I'm gonna switch over to that. Ashley doesn't have the ability to wear heavy armor yet. We have to level that up for her. Uh, I'll just level up your Sentinel. Actually, you know what? I'll let you have- oh, what? I guess I have to level up Throw first before I can unlock Lift, right? Yeah, unlocks Lift. And then, unlock Stasis. So, and this would unlock Electronics for him. Alright, yeah. And we'll just do Sentinel right now. And you have one point, so we'll go for Lift. Ashley, Ashley, hello, Ashley. Let's see, what are we gonna go for you? Fitness would be good, and we need that for assault training, right? Yeah, increases her health. I mean, we're barely gonna be using, honestly, we're barely gonna be using Ashley, right? Because we're gonna be using her for like a better, better uh character down the road. Also a more fun character. And yeah, we're pretty good on that. Journal just basically tells you what you need to do. Let's put a manual save here. Right? So yeah, uh, what, I, what I was saying earlier is just basically with the uh, council and stuff like that. Not only that, you know, there's only like three races on the council, but also... Uh, the human race, I believe, is the last race to kind of join up with the council officially. And we've only been around the council, around the, you know, alliance. For, uh, my bad, not alliance. The human alliance is different from the council. Uh, we've only been around the, uh, inside council law, part of the council bullshit, for like maybe a hundred years or something like that compared to all the other races who have been here way longer which you're gonna see right about now i understand what you're saying but these allegations are very serious i can't just this is serious my reputation is at stake i spoke with the consort in confidence and her and she betrayed that confidence. All right. I will look into it for you. In the meantime, do not do anything rash. In the meantime, do not do anything rash. Hello there, human. Sincere apology. 
but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. I do not remember the name of this race. I think they are called the Elk Corps, right? They are an interesting race. Which, if I ask him, oh, I think if I ask the other guy, he'll, you seem he'll explain it. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong, and it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Who's this Asari consort? Curious, you have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Sha'ira, the consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find this Asari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Good day, human. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. These guys, Last I believe, are called the Volus? Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Earth Clan. <laughs> We're basically the fucking. Actually, they're not the nerds of the uh, space. The of the space. They're um. That's the Solarians. They're the nerds. These guys are. They're not the nerds, but they're like that. That weird fat kid. <laughs> in like, in like your. <laughs> the weird fat kid in kindergarten that was sitting in the corner and eat glue. They're they're basically those guys. Um. Let's see. What's wrong with you? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Bolus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. So yeah, this dude's basically mad because he's all like, fucking humans, I hate you. You motherfuckers haven't been around that long, right? And you guys have your own office for your embassy, but we gotta share our shit with the Elcor, right? So he's a little, he's a little mad about that. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are overlooked by the council. Chastising rebuke, Din. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Why aren't the Volus or Elcor part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This talk is wasted on the humans. So, basically, the Volus here, Den, he's like, humans are more likely to be fucking accepted into the Council before the Volus are even though the Volus have been around here way longer than humans and have contributed a lot to the council, right? And in order to join the council, in order for the for a race to be considered for the council, they need to show some sort of, like, achievement, like, major achievement, right? 
and it's kind of it's kind of a um it kind it kind of is like the popular kids table right because it's both fair and unfair right in the sense that that the council is just made up of three races right now and they basically get well it's made up of three people who represent the three races who who get together and make up what is basically space law in their jurisdictions right um and you know it's it's a it's a popular kids group right but also it kind of makes sense a little bit because when compared to the rest of the races the uh the Torians have like a really good they made good advancements in military to the point where they were used for their military uh for their military competency i guess is the word i want to use or something like that uh the solarians would use them as their military power right because of how good of a military they were and how good they were at fighting um you know fighting wars and stuff like that right as you can see with the uh with first contact wars and the fucking uh the Torians fighting the uh the Krogans and stuff like that. The Solarians, on the other hand, they're not good with military, but they're a bunch of science geeks. And you can assume with their science, they have made very good advances and have helped other races tremendously, right? With uh with their advancements and stuff like that, and also proven themselves with something called the Genophage, which well, you know, we'll talk about that later when it shows up. And then you have the Asari, which are basically naturally adept to bionics, which is like the the fucking, basically the space magic, the force of the Mass Effect universe. And, you know, with their connections to, to bionics and like their spiritual bullshit or whatever, and then just their culture, uh, their advancements in their culture and how their race are able to just easily adapt and have the ability to have the ability to uh reproduce and procreate with uh other races and stuff like that and pass on their genes and make you know uh genetically more genetically uh not advanced but genetically uh diverse more genetically diverse asari uh every asari will basically Whenever Asari gives birth, even from a different race, they'll all be they'll all be Asari, right? Asari will only give birth to Asari, but their genetic pool will be, you know, more advanced because it'll be more diverse with the all the hand me downs for un other generations, which probably helps with um, which helps with their culture and stuff like that, and uh, probably advances their biotics even more, right? So, you know. Big, big, uh, big, big advancements and achievements and stuff like that all around the board by those guys. And then you have the Elcor and the Bolus where most of their, uh, most of their support from the Citadel are, come from the fact that they're very good merchants. So they help a lot with trade and, you know, with trade and uh, economics and stuff like that. But in the council's eyes, it's like, even though they help a lot with that, with them and they're very good at it it's still not like a major feat right so they're kind of looked over but they do they do get you know they do get perks like a lot of perks for for being around because they're kind of the backbone of the economy and in, in, in space law right but humans on the other hand uh with our diversity and our fucking and our plot armor of basically being like we're humans and we have unlimited potentials because humans can do anything that's basically what he's alluding to where it's like you guys are going to be you guys are probably going to be on the council more than us and we've been here forever so it's kind of unfair right so i understand where he's coming from tell me about the volus and why you guys are weird the volus I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. No, it won't bore me. It would just make it would just make me laugh at you. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. So it would provide a lot of entertainment. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. 
we were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the council. Because you guys are just glorified fucking uh, bank managers. <laughs> Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since and we're not that's why you're adept, probably not on the council. Our services for protection. That's mostly probably why you're not on the council. If your people's government inherently constantly changes, like, drastically, it's probably not a good idea to have you guys have a say-so on the council because your own fucking race can't make up their goddamn minds most of the time. And then it's always a constant power struggle with status and stuff like that and how their race goes so you can you can see how weird that would be if a volus got on the council and then that volus's clan got engulfed by a different clan and then that volus will now technically have to be part of the council because they're a higher status than the other one even though they may not meet the requirements to be on the count you see how fucked up that would be right so it's a little unfair that they're not on the council because they contribute a lot but at the same time, it makes sense that they're not on the council because you guys are a bunch of fuckery. Uh, I think that's all I have to say, really. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Good day, Earth Clan. And here are the Elkhorn. Please greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine Hi, Kalen. I like your name. Is there something I can do for you this day? Why are you fucking talking like that? Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Correction, I don't care about your ways. Then. The Elcor, however, are I cool. I truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. So yeah, that's why the Elcor are pretty interesting in my opinion. It's like, an Elcor doesn't have the ability to lie. Because in order for other people to understand them that aren't Elcor, they have to say what they mean. <laughs> Which is fucking hilarious. Right? Uh, tell me about the Elcor. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Absolutely. Very interesting. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly, within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. So, they kind of lucked out that the first species they met was the, with the Asari, because the Asari do have the ability to communicate non-vocally through mind fuckery right so if their if their first contact was with eh, the solarians would probably probably uh probably try to find a uh a scientific way to figure out what the fuck how to communicate with them but the torians on the other hand you can see how first contact with torians would go in something called the first contact war which is basically how the humans got involved with the citadel which it's not fun and oh boy ashley likes to talk about it I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups, though we are always welcoming to outsiders. 
Our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Which is why they probably will not be a very good candidate on the Citadel, on, on, not the Citadel, uh, very good candidates for the council, right? Because much like their speech, the Elcor like to be slow moving in terms of their, uh, I don't want to say way of living because again, he, he did say, uh, you know, within a year they established like regular routes with the mass effect relays and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, for the most part, they, they are, they are not as quick, uh, adept to change as other, as the, uh, as the Vol uh, Volus, which is very interesting why they both share a fucking <laughs> embassy office, right? Because one's not, not used to change that fast and the other one is constantly changing. So that's kind of funny. Let's see. Anything else? What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Din. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. <laughs> uh, I love this guy. Alright. Goodbye, Ambassador. Thank you, Ambassador. Elcor are always fun to hang around with. And Volus are too. And speaking about weirdos, this guy is a weirdo too. We'll learn more about them later though. But they're weird. Also, I believe around here somewhere, Ashley says something weird or racist or something like that, or a spoiler or something. I don't know. She said something. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Yep. Racist. Damn, Ashley, you're fucked up. I actually don't. I actually don't think that's supposed to be like a racist remark from from Ashley. I think it's more of the idea of since we're new to the Citadel and sometime, and I'm assuming this is this might be like the first time she's seen one of the alien races, or like, you know, first time she's been around so many in one area, so she's like, I can't tell if that guy's a fucking alien or if it's just a creature. I mean, well, if it's a, you know, a smart alien with intelligence or if it's just a creature, like the weird bug creature we just walked past, and I think that's her refer referring to that creature called the Keeper, because that thing isn't, that thing is just here, right? And it's not really one of the, uh, it's just here. <laughs> it's not, it's not, you know, it doesn't seem to be smart, but it's there working on shit for some reason, and no one knows why. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports you know on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Savina. So, here you can see a little, a little bit of the giant, uh, uh, can't speak, a little bit of the genetic diversity of the Asari, because I believe this character here might be descendant of an Asari mother and a Krogan father, or, you know, a uh, Asari mother and Krogan mother, uh, or, well, I believe there is no concept of gender for the Asari because they're all kind of, they all are kind of feminine, but like, since there is no real male equivalent, they really have no concept of that, so Asari are just Asari, right? What's that? Avina is the virtual and the reason I say that she's Citadel. probably Feel descended from Krogan is because she has, like, herself. the scales on her weird tendril hair thing, right? She has, like, Krogan scales up there. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. Thank you for the small talk. What's your name? What do you do? Oh here? shit, my bad. My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant. There's for nothing the else to say there. I should be going now. Have a pleasant. Thanks, Sephiria. Allow me to be your 
So this is Avina. Greetings, and, and she has some interesting information My name is for Avina, us. And I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. Virtual guide? What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence program to provide spontaneous virtual intelligence at predetermined locations of interest throughout Very this important. level of the city. Important, uh, I may if also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of C-Sec the is basically the Citadel, uh, Tower, Citadel where the council meets police to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Um, tell me about Tell me about C-Sec. I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of C-Sec. But individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. So, uh, real quick thing to point out, she says galactic standard years, which, off the top of my head, I don't know how... Uh, what what time frame that is right but it's definitely not earth years <laughs> you know it's not a 365 days or 366 if it's a leap year um so to them they're like yeah you only been around here for like 19 years guys well standard gal uh, galactic years which you know is on average a, a pretty short time for the rest of the race well for most of the races uh, I assume, because the Asari live pretty goddamn long, the Torians live longer than humans, the Solarians age faster than humans, I don't know about the... I'm assuming the Elcor live long too, and the Volus might have the same, uh, the same, uh, aging, aging process as humans, maybe? Uh, why was humanity opposed? Why were people trying to keep my species out? Because you guys Some species fucking nuke humanity each other. was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The council gave a great deal of thought to this oh. matter. So she In basically end, said like, so even 19 space years space isn't the equivalent of like 100 years. An she's like, yeah, you guys, she's like, usually it takes like 100 years or something for you guys. You guys didn't even have that. So <laughs> what do you think? Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. See, that's important. So she calls herself a uh, visual intelligence. A uh, visual? Virtual intelligence, my bad. A virtual intelligence. Instead of calling herself an AI, artificial intelligence. Because AI is illegal. <laughs> and we will see why. Because, uh, well, we already kind of seen why. The Geth themselves were AI, and we just saw what the fuck happened. How come the Volus were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Why weren't they made a council race? The council races have extensive responsibilities. They must provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleets. 
They often provide economic aid in times of disaster. It would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the citadel. Let's see. Lesser species? Whoa. That's pretty damn arrogant. I apologize if my personality has offended you. Please submit all formal complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. So that's not her saying... That's not her. Again, she's a virtual uh, a virtual AI. Uh, AI. A virtual intelligence. So that's not her coming to that conclusion of you guys are lesser species than the Torians, Sol uh, Solarians, and Asari. That's the fact that someone programmed that in there, which was probably the Asari. Because... She's an Asari, <laughs> or at least based off of an Asari. Uh, tell me about Spectres. Do you know anything about Spectres? The term Spectre is derived from the branch of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Each Spectre agent is handpicked by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. So basically, the Asari and Salarians uh, could be up their own ass sometime, right? Because they were the first to uh, kind of you know, make it out here into space and discover all this shit and all that, you know, discover the, uh, discover the Citadel and stuff like that. And then later on, the Torians joined, like I said earlier, because of, you know, their military prowess and they proved themselves worthy of it in the, um, in the Krogan Rebellion bullshit, right? Which we will learn more about later. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Cool. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. There you go. My goal with this playthrough is not only to make it a fun playthrough, but also to explain some of the stuff going on in Mass Effect because it's a big fucking trilogy, right? Um, so with that, that was a lot of info dump. We're going to take a quick break, and I'm going to let my dog outside because he is whining at me. He's yelling at me. He's telling me he has to go to the bathroom, so I'm going to let him do that. Look at my fucking cheekbones. Those things are strong as shit. Anyways, I will be right back.
Alrighty. Getting back to it. Getting back at it like a crack at it. Alright. That was fun. Info dump. And then went outside, let my dog out, and then I went to the bathroom. No. You sit. You sit. No. Hey. No. No. Hey. No. Stop it. Stop. You lay on your bed, young one. Ah, that was me dropping my mouse. Fuck. Let me just pick that up. Oops, I dropped my mouth. I gotta pick it up now. Alright, what kind of fucking weird outfit are you wearing, sir? I, you Citadel Rapid Transport. Yeah, I know, I know. So, here in the Cell Del. Set Cell Del? Yeah, here in the Cell Games. Here in the Citadel. We're here. And. Our first time around here, we have, we have some, uh, there's some, you little motherfucker. I was telling my dog not to jump on my bed, but then he did it anyways. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hurt him later. I'm gonna beat him. <laughs> uh, how many people are gonna be like, no, don't beat your dog. So, yeah, we have, uh, some, some, uh, side quests we can tackle right now but right now I would say it's best it's in our best interest to uh, head on down to where we need to go because there's a lot of bullshit we gotta do and then down here Avina will tell us more that we would like to know about bullshit right ooh hey I forgot what these guys are called they are cool what are you called jelly man ah human this one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. This one's face name. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Uh, your speech. Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. It is part of our culture. Specifically, Hanar only refer they are to the themselves Hanar, as the that's first person called. with family or intimates. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. That's cool. You guys are cool. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder. Though many in this oh, place. I just basically asked the same fucking Delan. question. How do I skip this? Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase. All of great worth. What exactly do you sell? Only the finest and most luxurious items that credits can buy. This one is able to procure almost any item the human would desire. For a price, naturally. <laughs> this one's face name. <laughs> I'd like I'll start to referring to myself as that. Items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Few non-human armors. Nice. So, for the most part, you can buy armors off of them if you want, right? Uh, oh, I went to non-human armors, my bad. Uh, which will not help us in this moment. But, for the most part, there is a better place to be getting armors from, and then there's other things that you want to buy, which are licenses. Which, we will learn about that down the road. Now, where the fuck do I need to go? Citadel Tower is this way, which is where we're going. Or we can just, you know, hop on some space. Some space transit. The Presidium locations. Citadel Tower, please. Yay, we're here. Garrus? You sound like a fun person. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. You blew it. <laughs> who, who's, who the fuck was that? 
Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. You done fucked it up. Sounds like you came up empty. Saren's a Spectre. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. You think they're gonna listen to a fucking human? Well, they, they have been a bit favorable with us. Solarian's out here fucking... This man looks like a goddamn... <laughs> looks like a fucking Sith Lord. Oh, look at you looking all fine and shit. Oh, he's so adorable. Look at how stupid and ugly and adorable they are. I think it's sleeping, but they sleep with their eyes open. Oh, their little beady eyes? Their big giant beady eyes? Their beady one eyes? The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. Uh, how did you get involved? Uh, it don't matter. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? You can expect me to kill you the next time we meet. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not ready about the Council. to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision. All right, Shepherd's Medina, calm down. into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? Uh, so here's my fucking... Here's what I find weird about this. On the council, one of the members is an Asari. They have these things called Justicars, which, which are really inept in, like, spiritual bullshit, right? So if I said, hey man, I had a vision... And some crazy shit's going on. The fact that the Asari on the council will just sit there and be like, yeah, let's not even look into that. It's kind of sketch. Not only that, but hello, guys. Do you not see Saren's fucking robotic eyes and giant robot arms and fucking weird tendrils sticking out the back of his fucking head? He's evil. <laughs> You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. Fuck you shaking your head at? Why are you nodding? The council your head? has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. What the fuck? I just saw something on my computer screen. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. 
Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Damn, bro. How you know Saren? Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Ashley, why do you always look like you're just questioning life? <laughs> I don't trust him. He's an alien. He's a Turian. I don't want him on our side. Not all Turians are like Saren. If he can help, we need to find him. I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. He is right. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkins so where Anderson is a great, again. great captain. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the war. Udina is really good with politics. Even though... And, I mean, overall, Udina wants what's best for humanity, right? He just wants it, like, really, really bad, though. Like... To a point where it's like, all right, man, calm down a little bit. All right. Uh... I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. All right. Um, investigate. Nothing to really investigate. Other leads. Other leads. It's a. Uh... Oh, we don't have any other leads. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Sarah. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Balavan's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game, and the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone. Not directly. He's just a resource we can use. Or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Nice way to cover, cover all the bases, Anderson. I really like that. That's actually really good. Um, do, 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 do. So, I, I wanted to just talk about the Shadow Broker a little bit. Because fucking Shadow Broker is something that they... They put, they put, um, what's the word I'm looking at here? They put the seeds, they, they, they laid the seeds down for, uh, for what the Shadow Broker would become way later into the series. Well, not way later, but in the second game, we learn what the Shadow Broker really is. And the fact that they, you see this happen a lot in Mass Effect, that they put down some plot points that they'll go over later in the future but sometimes they put down plot points that they just ignore and it just goes nowhere which one of, we'll see one of the biggest examples of that um later <laughs> later in this game i should go good luck shepherd i'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else all righty then time to go and get some party members But first things first, I believe we can get ourselves a nice little side quest. What are you doing? The one over by the keeper. What guy? What? Oh well, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Never mind, it wasn't me. I wasn't doing nothing. I'm just gonna stand over here uh, suspiciously. Yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the key. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. Uh, yeah. I literally just walked up I'm not to sure you. I should be talking to you about this. 
Why not? We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. Hmm. Uh -huh. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. So this is why I said that uh, we're going to learn about the Keepers a little bit more later. And by learn about them, we're going to learn how little we know about them. So the Keepers, right? Keepers are these little guys right here, little insect guys right here. They don't talk. They don't do anything besides keep up the citadel and make sure that it's working. So, basically what happened is that I forgot who found the uh, citadel first. Is either the Asari or the fucking, or the, uh, or the Salarians or maybe both at the same time or some bullshit. I don't know. But, um, basically... Aliens came here, found the Citadel. Citadel was just here. Like, everything in here... Well, maybe not everything, but for the most part, most things in here was just already here. The The Council did not build the Citadel. The Citadel was just here. So, we made use of the... They made use of the facilities in the Citadel. And when they were doing that, they're like, Oh, what the fuck are these guys doing over here? Maybe they're just weird creatures and shit, right? And then they find out that, oh, wait, they're just here upkeeping the Citadel and just working on it and making sure that it works. That's cool. And weird. And if we try to disturb them, I believe they fucking explode. Oh, God. <laughs> I did not mean to take my weapon out. I believe there's a codex in here that basically non-council races. Keepers. Sorry, discovered the Citadel. They also discovered the Keepers, a docile, multi-limbed insect race that seemingly exists only to maintain and repair the Great Prothean Station. Early attempts to communicate with or study the Keepers were failures, and it is now illegal to interfere with or impede Keeper activity. Because they are completely non-threatening, Keepers have become virtually invisible to everyone else. Similarly, they seem indifferent to other species, except for their tendency to help new arrivals integrate themselves into the Citadel. No matter how many Keepers die due to old age, violence, or accident, they maintain a constant number. No one has discovered the source of new Keepers, but some hypothesize they are genetic constructs. Biological androids created somewhere deep in the inaccessible core of the Citadel itself. So... I'm not sure if it says it here or like maybe somewhere else. I could have sworn somewhere it's like if you mess around with the keepers too much or something like that, they just fucking explode or some shit. Something like that. Basically some reason as to why the council went and said, guys, don't fuck with the keepers. They are literally here to just keep the citadel working. Right? And if you fuck with the keepers, that's a bad thing. Because we want the Citadel to work as good as it possibly can. So that's why it's illegal to fuck with them. And they're like, they're just here. We don't know what they are. We don't, well, we, we know, we know what they're here doing. But we don't really know much about them. We can't even tell if they're organic or inorganic. They might be fucking weird android things. They might be 
organic life forms. Nobody knows where they come from. Some of them might just die and then instantly get replaced the next day when we don't, when we're not looking at it, <laughs> right? So it's like, guys, don't fuck with the keepers. I believe there's another, there might be another side quest around here somewhere. I believe there's a guy we talked to or something, right? I also hate that that our sprint is limited. I hate that in any game. Any video game, you should not have a limited sprint. Like, it's kind of stupid in my opinion. Is it you? Is it you that we talked to? Could have sworn it's somewhere around here that we talked to. That has like a little extra thing for us. Oh, and there's a keeper. Allowing the humans to join us is a sound strategic move. Scan him. Thank you. I believe it's a total of 12 keepers. Is it you we talked to? Because you just standing here. Nope. I could have sworn there's like another guy we talked to around here. Oh, it's Rear Admiral. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the counselor's assistants. Another keeper's over here. Scanning that up. Want to make sure I, no, I just check ask a couple of questions. all the areas because it's been a while and I don't remember where the fuck all the keepers are at. So there might be one up here as well. Oh, yep, there is. I'm gonna scan the keeper. It's probably more than 12 then. It's probably like 24 or something. There's nothing over here. My voice just had like a weird crack. That was fun. All right, let's go talk to the rare, the rear animal, the a admiral of the assholes, no, booty inspector. Commander, talk to me. Commander, you have a name. Talk to me. I guess I gotta come back after doing something. Maybe I don't fucking know. Maybe there's like someone that's like, can you can you find the rare the rear admiral for me? I need him to inspect my asshole. It's a funky ass fountain. Feel like it would spray every single person who walked through here. Also, my air conditioner is on because it's the summertime, but I think I need to clean out the filter in my air conditioner because it's it's pretty damn it's not as efficient as it could be. Say hello to elevators! Did I? Oh, so now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his geth troopers. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. Let me make sure that I didn't fuck up my audio because my uh my mic wire is a little weird. Let me do that. There we go. Alrighty. Moving on. Hello, little keeper keeper. Look at that bug thing over there. Avina. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower, one of the Presidium's most recognizable and important structures. Behind me is the spectacular Relay Monument, a scale model representation of a Prothean mass relay. To your left is one of the Keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see Keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The Keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. Rehabilitation? I'd like to know more about the Keepers. Little is known about these peaceful servants of the Citadel, though they are essential to the operation and maintenance of the entire station. 
Citadel regulations protect the keepers against interference during the performance of their tasks. Failure to comply will result in harsh penalties. Keepers can be seen in all sections of the Citadel, but are typically found in and around the tower. Any particular reason there are so many keepers in this area? The yes. Do not communicate with other species. There is a the very Citadel singular the good tower reason. Houses the Citadel's primary control systems. Many of the station systems, such as navigation and life support, function automatically. It is believed the keepers operate those systems from inside the tower's inaccessible core. The keepers also make frequent appearances in the council chamber itself, though they appear to be just passing through on their way to some other destination. So basically, they're like, we showed up, we saw the keepers working on things, we tried to interfere with them, it ain't good, it don't turn out good. But hey, they don't seem to be doing anything bad, they're just here and not making any sort of contact with us whatsoever and just making sure that this station works perfectly fine there's nothing suspicious about that oh look they're in a very particular area and there seems to be way more of them around here maybe because this area is important of some significance to where they have to constantly keep it running but let's not question anything it's fine it's fine we said tell me about the relay monument Discovered by the Asari who first arrived at the Citadel, the Relay Monument is one of the station's most interesting and controversial features. What is the meaning behind this striking piece of art? Is it a tribute to Prothean vanity? A reminder of their conquest of the galaxy through mass relay technology? Or perhaps it is a symbol of unity? A Prothean acknowledgement that the relays would eventually lead other species here to the Citadel? No one can say for sure making the Relay Monument a favorite topic of discussion among academics and scholars. Alright, so Relay Monument over here. It's as, it's what it says it is for the most part. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, right? Question mark, question mark. So, what are, rel what are mass relays? Basically, they're like these waypoints that's found in deep space no one well we don't i want to say no one knows where they came from but it basically the citadel and the relays we all we all came to the conclusion that they came from a super secret advanced race uh that that's been around for forever or when it stinked or whatever you know a past civilization that was super advanced and they created the uh the mass relays and the citadel and stuff like that and they're called the protheans right so the mass relays are basically g these fucking waypoints in space that you can use to basically get like a influx is influx the word i want to use influx of energy and use that to slingshot your way through uh basically basically fucking making fast travel fast travel basically making space travel way faster than it needs to be and allowing you to go into different not galaxies uh solar systems and stuff like that way faster instead of it taking like thousands and thousands and thousands of light years now you use the mass relays and you kind of just get there pretty instantly right so it's a very great achievement in space exploration made by the protheans where are the protheans no one fucking knows that's all for now thank you for using avena have a pleasant day no one knows where the protheans they seem to be extinct maybe they might be around somewhere who knows what's that kaden you seem like you have something to say Anyone else hear that low hum? Sounds like it's coming from that statue. It makes my teeth tingle. That's very interesting, Caden. I'm pretty sure that that will not be of any importance later. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, question mark, question mark. <laughs> Alright, so now we need to go look for Garrus, but while we're here in the area, we should, uh... There, we can head to, uh, what's her fucking name? Ashanti, I think her name is. Oh, gotta talk to this guy, too. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. 
Hi, I am Shepard. It's a great honor to welcome the heroes of the Blitz. I don't like strangers keeping tabs on me. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. Money. I like money. I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. I need that information. Now. Threats don't work on me, Commander. This information is worth a small fortune. But this is an unusual situation. So I am going to let you have it for free. What's the catch? There is no I need you to kill somebody. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. So you're in luck, Shepard. The Shadow Broker, he don't really like Saren right now. He want him kind of dead. So, uh, so go kill him. Saren betrayed him. Imagine that. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. And where is he? How do I find him? I heard he was paying Citadel Security a visit. If you hurry, you can probably catch him before he leaves the CSEC Academy. Let's Thanks get going, you. team. My pleasure, Commander. My pleasure, Commander. I like seeing motherfuckers get gut. Uh, CSEC Academy, on our way there. Actually, what the hell's over here? What's this? Is this where the, uh, what's-her-fuck name is called? Consort? The Asari Consort? Oh no, I think this is just like a storage area. Hey, Keeper! I forgot, I gotta scan you guys, I should really... I don't even think I scanned the Keeper that, that I was next to earlier, shit, let me... Ugh, damn it, I gotta run all the way back there. I actually gotta run around here real quick. Ah. Uh... This is why I don't like having limited runs in games. It's not fun. No, no, no. It's definitely not. Financial district. There's a keeper over there. Oh, damn it. This one believes it has the right to move freely through this area. You're creating a public disturbance. It's against Citadel regulations. This one is unsure why the other would not wish word of the Enkindlers to be spread. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? It's not smart enough. Uh, I, listen. I'm quickly learning that maybe trying to play as Chad Wellington in terms of the way his character would be may not be good for Mass Effect. Because <laughs> I need those renegade points. Because it's a big, stupid jellyfish. How can I convince my superior that I deserve a promotion if I cannot convince this annoying jelly to leave? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. You're pathetic. Kick its ass. <laughs> it's a jelly boy. Beat him up! If you can't solve this problem, you don't even deserve to be in seasick. I didn't ask for your help, human. I can di Do you desire you, to learn leave. the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC Officer enlisted assistance? Bring him along. The CSEC Officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC Officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Ah, shit. I don't have enough bad points. Alrighty. I'll be back. I'll be back to this kick your jelly ass. To spread its message. Oh my god, put the gun away. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, hey, I have points now. Damn it. 
trying to think. Uh, I think I just have to level up to increase those. So what should I do? Hmm. Sentinel. Pistol damage, so I'm good with pistols. Reduce cooldown to throw lift barrier stasis. Reduce cooldown to sabotage over... Yeah, yeah, I might as well. Marksman. What's this? Boost accuracy. Yeah, uh... Yeah, I won't be able to get these until I get, a. Uh, until I up my uh, renegade and and other points and stuff, damn it! As for you, Kaiden, let's just get that sentinel up there and give you. Oh yeah, I forgot. You have to unlock overload. Uh, you can have barrier. That'll help you. Bro, I fucking I forgot. I'm I'm playing this with the uh, with the dual uh, the dual sense edge controller right, and I locked my triggers to you know be like buttons, so now I can unlock those. Ashley, do that for your fitness bullshit. Increase health grants the immunity ability. Wait, what? Oh yeah, it reduces. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Kind of want that. I keep pressing that button. All right. I want to scan the keepers while I'm out here. And for some reason, um. For some reason, let me just check real quick. I still don't know why my Paragon is so fucking high. Just gotta run a quick lap. CSEC Academy, which is where we want to go. But I just want to make this quick lap so I can scan the keepers in the area because since, uh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, it matters because I'm going to be transferring the files to Mass Effect 2 when we do that. But at the same time, it kind of doesn't because I think I'll be switching over to the PC version. What's over here? Oh, is a keeper? Hello, keeper. Scan. I get money. Archives. Kodak. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. This place is simply fantastic. Speak to me, Elcor. Human, delighted. Welcome. It is good to meet you. It is good to meet you, Shepard. I am delighted. I love you. I love you, Elcor. You're so cool. Hey, buddy, can you tell me where where Garrus is after I decrypt your bullshit in front of you? Super illegal. Great. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account. Multiple receptions across the inter inter <laughs> extranet. <laughs> My bad. Further monitoring situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. You, uh, if you understand us, if you will tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our efforts for a new world. Come join us, the Hawking at the cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs. I guess I should check that out. That seems suspicious. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? I go where the fuck I please. Nobody sends me anywhere. I just need some information. You humans are always so curious. Always You're damn right. Your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? Uh, never mind. Forget I asked. 
Was there something you needed, Commander? Tell me about this. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. The Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet. That's their business. But I don't have to like it. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? For a busy man, you got some beautiful blue eyes. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. All right. Tell me about the Spectres, CSEC. I bet you really love them. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Counselor, so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the council. Oh damn it! What do you know about the right hand? More like the underhanded side of the council. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law, especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for thirty years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe- Oh my god, Ashley, shut the fuck up. There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres? <laughs> They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree, but they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a specter, the Council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? Absolutely. The only thing that matters is accomplishing the task. Maybe. But I've never had to cross that line to get the job done. Never. All right, tell me about the investigation. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Ongoing event? You, I literally just heard you said the investigation was over. What do you fu- All right. Then can you tell me what you know about Garrus? Garrus Vicarian? Good officer. Very good, in fact. But he needs to learn some patience. You'd think an officer of the law would be a bit more mindful of rules. Can you like look at me when you're talking to me? Instead of anything else. sucking me off? <laughs> That's it. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. Freaky alien man, that's super cool. I love you. Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right. Sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? Tell me about the consort. What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... Things. By never sucking was. their dicks. I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. So basically the consort provides uh, ease for people, whether it be talking to them as a psychiatrist, a uh, counselor, or whatever the fuck, or just sucking their dick. <laughs> like, that's basically what it is. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun. Ashley, shut the fuck up. You're not officially part of my team. Don't care what you say. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. I feel like she's doing something illegal or something I forgot. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? You know who I am? 
Your arrival uh, created a bigger than average stir among the diplomats and hangers on around here. There's always something new happening around here. I could fill you in on some points of interest if you'd like. Fill me in, please. Fill me up, big boy. Around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. What is Shaira's? The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. Because she sucks their dicks. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. All right, it's a keeper back here. Well, that's a keeper. I'd buy that for a dollar. Sure is peaceful here. It sure is, Kaiden. It sure is. Hello, diplomat. This place seems strange. Never mind. You're not important. Goodbye. Don't talk to me. Shut up. <laughs> Just so hostile. Open the door, please. Let me out. Stop trapping me in here. Alrighty. Now they said across the bridge is where she's at? Which way was I even fucking going? Oh, I was going this way. Okay. Don't worry, we're almost done with our loop. Oh wait, no, I wasn't going this way. I was going this way, right? Because down, down there is C-Sec Academy. Yeah, this is what they mean across the bridge. You just go over there, I guess. And then you'll see her. Uh, let me just check over here because I still got to scan these damn keepers. It takes forever to walk over here. And then that leads to Hanar and I went down. All right. I'm a fucking N7, I fucking passed the N7 program. You would kind of expect me to be able to do more than like a little, little jog. It's kind of annoying. Which is why in Mass Effect 2 they, uh, find, you know, they, they make it, they make the area not as big. Even though it's not that big, but still. They make it more manageable. Also, there are certain areas in here where the frame rate just decides to die. Scan the Keeper. Welcome, I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. Cause she but sucks if you their dick. Your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Uh -huh. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's she sucks their dick. To explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Like some a prostitute. For advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Like sucking their Most dicks. Of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. After she drained them dry from sucking their dicks. Is she mystical? You make her sound like some kind of oracle. With her mouth, yes, you know, because she sucks their dick. <laughs> <sense. She's merely laughs> Just woman keep hammering the fact. And a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Yeah, what about the appointments? Can't I just go in? Oh, mm, damn it. I'm afraid not. Yeah, but if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in um, three or four months. Fuck that. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? What do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. Sometimes even we might suck their dicks. What exactly do you attend to? 
Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, and others we suck match dick. the needs of our clients <laughs> to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. Like your penis. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, uh, no, don't touch my dick. Nope, I'm good. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. I'm gonna suck his dick. <laughs> It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Mm. Maybe later. I'm an asshole. If I have time, I'll speak with her. Well, don't wait too long. I wouldn't want you to miss this opportunity. She'll be waiting upstairs if you choose to go. Alrighty. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. She said, that's a way to say it. Hello. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. So how does it feel to be sucking dick for the government? <laughs> I'm not even lying about that. She she does she does just suck sometimes. For the most that's why she's popular. She can either provide, you know, emotional comfort or uh Emotional comfort. I show you. Close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Get to the point. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. Septimus Prime. Details, but he's a Decepticon. He be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Cora's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. Did you wash your hands before you touched me? What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. Okay, what about the privacy of the Elcor? Why should I bother to help your friend? Could it be I was wrong about you, Commander? Are you certain you will not aid me in this? I'll see. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. I don't get you, Shaira. I walk in your room and, and you go, that's close. And you go, that's close enough. Don't come closer to me. And then you start rubbing your body against my dick. So please, pack up. Did you wash your hands? Sure, what to expect their first time. Don't get me wrong, I've only heard good things about the consort. It's just the unknown forces us out of our comfort zone, it forces us to be vulnerable. Exactly, that's just what I was thinking. Good, then we are ready to begin. That's weird. That's weird. I see, even the humans find the consort irresistible. Cause she sucked your. <laughs> all right, all right. I think we get the point, but I'm still gonna point it out though, cause it's hilarious to me. Doing it for the government. There's a little keeper boy over here. I gotta scan him. And where does this lead? 
Oh, just back up. Wait. Yeah, just back over here. Yeah, I. Yeah, okay, yeah. Gotta make a mental map, you know? I just want to make it to the side where, uh, Avina was, like, pointing at one of the keepers, which I think might be in front of the tower, which is over here. There's a keeper over there. I think I scanned it already. Oh, wait, no, I think that's the one I didn't scan. What, Ashley? What are you hung about? You know, art doesn't normally do much for me, but that relay statue, I like. Okay, that's cool. All right, did I scan you? Please do not disturb the keepers. Oh, I guess this one I can't scan. All right. Did I scan this one? I'm pretty sure I scanned this one over here. That leads to the wards. Let me just see if I scanned you. I did. All right, cool. All right, now we can head over to uh, CSEC Academy, which is just over here. Oh my god, I can hear you breathing, fucking Shepard. Calm down. You're a soldier, for fuck's sake. How you holding up, Lieutenant? Not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Maybe you've just got a good stress release. I know that knocking the gaff on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches. I can't turn around, so I'm forced to stare at Ashley. Oh my god, look at all the Garruses! Are you Garrus? Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. He will die. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Bar Levon said to talk to you. Barlevon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. Spit it out. Or are you trying to build suspense? <laughs> I like you, Shepard. I love you, Rex. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. What did he do? He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. The fuck? That's a big mistake. Fist's not too smart. He's just greedy. Saren paid him a small fortune for the Quarian. He had to. She has evidence connecting him to the Geth. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the council will have to listen to us. I have to find her. Something's compelling me to find her. Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. That's a deal. Time we paid Fist a visit. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. We can use him. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak. I fucking to love you, Rex. Look how look how cool he is. Move out. Hey, Ashley, get the fuck off my team. Actually, you know what? 
I do want to say, Ashley, get the fuck off my team, but more importantly right now, Kaiden, like, for real though, get the fuck off my team. Because now we have two fucking brute strength motherfuckers. So, Ashley's like full-on soldier. Our Krogan over here, Rex, he is a vanguard, which is basically super tank, right? He's got combat strength, bionic strength, and some tech strength, but more importantly, he's a Krogan. Krogans are genetically made to fucking do a lot. They have, they have, uh, what you call it? They have duplicate, um, a duplicate set of organs of all their main organs, right? All the, of all their important organs, just in case one of them fails. So Krogans have two hearts, four testicles, right? Reason I'm keeping Ashley on the team, right? It's because she's going to do some damage. And even though Kaiden's really good with bionics and he can, you know, uh, help out or whatever, sometimes raw damage is just the way to go, right? So, with that said, hi Rex. Krogan improves health regeneration, increases physical resistance, and increases melee. That mixed with barrier and heavy armor is fucking crazy. Also, shotguns. It's pretty goddamn good, right? So, first things first, I want to unlock his shotguns, which is going to be five points. <sighs> What's this? Oh, yeah, and he gets fitness as well, so increases his overall health. It's fucking crazy. He, he's great. Love him, right? So, so his shotguns aren't... I don't have to worry too much about it. So, let's get that shield boost going. And let's get that fitness. Right? We have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I'm going to put two in Krogan. Oops, did not mean to do that one. How do I take that back? Undo talent points. One, two, three. Shield. Unlock fitness. Put the three in fitness. And put... Increased melee damage by 100% just, dude, and regenerates health. Oh my god, I love him. He's great. We love this boy. He's beautiful. Great. Oh, and he has, you know, his cool Krogan shit. Is my Renegade going up? Damn it. I need to be more bad. More bad to the bone. So difficult. So difficult to be a bad guy. Trying to be fair. Are you Garrus? <laughs> Maybe you're Garrus. Ergnot Rat. Oh. <laughs> That's his fucking clan name. So, Rex is heading over to the medical ward, I think. So that's not Rex. I'm sorry. Uh, Garrus is heading over to the medical ward. So that's where we can find him. Let me get this straight. Your business plan, sure. But you always want to make sure to look around no, uh, not exactly. for anything with me. that might help. He's going to kill me. And hey there. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? I overheard you. Who are you? What are you doing here? I am Jaleed. I came here to seek aid from the authorities, but they won't listen to me. My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. Kill you? That's a serious claim. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Hmm. What do you need? Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? 
Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorban. That's the guy who asked us to scan the Keepers. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. The bastard. If I find out he's lied to me... Anything's possible with Shorban these days. Well, good luck! I will have good luck. Thank you, thank you. Hello, Commander. Hello, Commander. Anything on these, uh, nope. Nothing over here. Up here, I believe, is the head officer of CSEC? Maybe? Tracking terminal. Get a codec there, and get a codec here. They provide EXP, so why wouldn't you grab them? And a keeper! Scan that boy. That's a beautiful boy. A weapons locker. Examine. Get some codex. I can't go down here. Yeah, I definitely need to play this on PC and maybe throw some mods on there too. Like, unlimited fucking sprint. Oh my god damn it. And then probably some, uh... I'm pretty sure there's probably some character, uh, customization mods in there just to make Shepard look a little bit nicer. That's our transit. This leads to... I don't fucking know. Where does this lead? The tower? Oh wait, no, this is where I came from. So where does this lead? Ugh. I gotta remember all this bullshit. And this goes where exactly? Oh, it's an elevator to the wards. Okay, cool. I'm not ready to leave this area if I'm heading to the wards. Hello, sir. One sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance Military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? Who wants to know? Just checking for CSEC records. I can only sell goods to authorized personnel. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. I won't. All of this shit's expensive. Grenade upgrade, though. Lab license. I do need that, so I'm gonna grab that. You need licenses in order to get better, you know, in order for characters, characters, and there's a, there's a, uh, merchant or craftsman, I guess, in the Normandy, and in order for them to make more, uh, better stuff, they need the licenses for it. Let's get that grenade upgrade. And that's pretty much it right now. Thank you. Keeper, scanning him. Little guy hiding in the corner over here. Alright, that leads to the ward down there. So where the fuck does this lead? The docking bay. Alright, I don't need to go to the docking bay yet. Gotta head in over to the, the, to the wards. On Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. My bad, I, did I just click to the fucking... Colonization insists that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. To C-Sect Academy? Okay, yeah, so I did click on the one to the ward. Alright. Because I saw it said c -Sect, and I was like, did I just click on something that said c -Sect? We are here in the wards. This is where, uh, you know, just personal shit happens, uh, I guess. Like shops and stuff, and clubs. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? 
You're damn right I am. During the Blitz, saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. Looks like you have a fan. Shut up, Sorry, Ashley. I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Where's Harkin? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. Hmm, tell me about CSEC. Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Why? They are pretty fucking Plus, cool. CSEC gets a lot of respect here. I love those jelly boys. People, even aliens, appreciate that. Alright, that's cool, man. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Get a codec. Alrighty. Let's see what we have over here. This leads to what exactly? Um, where does this lead? I think this leads to the clubs. Yeah, the Presidium. I think that's a club. Hello, Emily Wong. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? No. What, what do you want? Need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Uh... How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. Alright, we'll see. No promises. But if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Sometimes you gotta be really careful what you say, because even though it seems like you're gonna choose a renegade option, you might lock yourself out of a quest. Because you, you basically go like, fuck you, and then they go, alright, fuck you, don't talk to me no more. Over here is where you would buy the licenses, I believe. I don't sell this model. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Really? You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. This guy's name is Conrad Werner. He has a very interesting thing, and by that, I mean... Well, first of all, he looks just like me, or I look just like him. Hmm. That's what happens when your character creator is kind of boring and dog shit. But uh, Conrad Werner has kind of a little interesting thing where um, I think they fixed it in Legendary Edition. But there was a bug in both Mass Effect 1 and 2 where this conversation can go either one of two ways in which you uh, in which the, the first way you kind of like talk to him nicely. Right. And the second way is that you tell him to fuck off. There's kind of a bug in the original versions of those games, which probably affects the PC version. I'm not sure if they fixed it in the PC version or something. But um, basically, when transferring your save over from Mass Effect 1 to Mass Effect 2, the game will always treat it as if you told him to fuck off. Right? Do I know you? Uh, no, no, I'm just a fan. One of your biggest fans, actually. My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. What the fuck? That's nowhere near the truth. I don't have time for this, Conrad. I'm not here to be a role model. Oh, I see how it is. Commander Shepard doesn't have time for the little people. Far be it for me to get in your way. You go be a hero. That's cool. Alright. 
Best place on this board to buy up? Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Let me see. Do you sell? Yes. For the uh, quartermaster. Gonna need that. So, just quick thing over over these these uh these you know these are all just different guns and weapons and stuff. All right, uh, your tool your tool helps you with uh with both melee and hacking. I believe I believe it helps with hacking or or I'm pretty yeah I'm pretty sure it helps with both melee and hacking. Um, you know pistols and snipers and so on and so forth. You can also sell your stuff too, right? You can put mods on your items and stuff like that, and of course the uh, the uh, licenses you need to buy, which is what we were doing. Let's get familiar with Mass Effect, Masseret, my favorite. Alrighty. Uh, that wait, which one leads to the Presidium? That leads to the Presidium, right? Wait, the Presidium is not the club. Which one's the club? I forgot what the club is called. I think this leads to the club, actually. Oh, this leads to the to like the new club. It's out of my hands, Rita. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What you got? You got some problems? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. Tell me. Get to the point. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. Cora's Den, that's, that's the name of the fucking... She's working as an informant for c -Sec. You know, That's the name of the go go goddamn there. club. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. I assume c -Sec is protecting her? They can't watch her all the time. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. All right. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? Mm, no. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it for Jenna's safety. Leave it to me. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's den is. With the Would bullet? You? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. I'm just gonna switch over to, uh, you know, to my pistol. You know, for reasons. Uh. Oh, I was locking on the racks. That that's what the fuck they were doing. The bouncer. Hello, patron. Do you want to gamble? I will scan you. Now, let's head over here. Talk to this patron. I'm waiting for someone else. Damn it. Hello, bouncer. Hey, good to see another human in here. Oh, I can't dance. Damn it. Place is busier than usual. Oh. I guess we talk to this guy later. Because that guy has a, uh, I believe it's that guy who has a quest for us. <clears throat> that involves cheating at the gamble machines. What's this? Oh, fast travel. The Flux, that's what this place is called. Alright, let's head over here. Gonna scan the keeper. Scanny, scanny. This is a nice little secret hidey hole, little hidey place. We'll come back here later. Hmm. 
And here's Cora's den. Which is where we want to be at. Because we are going to see, uh... Oh, fucking Christ. I'm on it. So because we here showed up here with the... Oh, damn it. I threw that out of a stupid area. Because we showed up here with Rex, instead of it being a very nice place for us to talk to, uh, what's his name? What's his face? Rex, get the fuck out of my way. To talk to, uh, Harkin. Since Rex is here, they know that he's coming to kill, uh, what's his name? Fist? Fisk? Which is basically the guy who owns this place. You want to make sure you get rid of the fucking Krogans first. Someone's trying to use fucking bionics on me. Don't worry, I got bionics too, baby. Check this out. Hit the ground, Jack. How's my health looking? It's looking pretty all right. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. did it? you damn right we did. Clear. So, quick warning, if you want to talk to Fist, or whatever the fuck his name is, Fisk, uh, don't bring Rex with you, because Rex will just shoot that guy on sight. Stop right there, don't come any closer. Warehouse workers, all the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot. I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Uh, well, uh, Screw Fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. You're damn right he don't. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Yeah, it is. <laughs> You're damn right it is. Now Fisk over here might have some turrets like this. Which is why we do this. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Sorry. Why isn't overload going? Thank you. That thing is lighting me the fuck up. I need a... There we go. Fucking... One of you motherfuckers do something about this? Ashley, do you know boost? Or overcharge or some dumb shit. Also, what do you... What do you got equipped? You have what? Your, your shotgun equipped? Fucking do something, you assholes. There you go. He warped it. It's taking some damage. My throat's not really going to do anything. Wait! Don't kill me! I surrender! Tell me where the Quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. 
You're on the wards. The back oh, by the, the way, if you kill Fist yourself, uh, right Rex now. will be Rex will be upset. Drop the gun, Krogan. The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. Yeah, hey, chill the fuck out, Ashley. I literally, you literally saw me make a deal with him, Ashley. Let's move. We have to save that quarian. Drop the gun, Crow. That's just your racism showing, Ashley. Oh, by the way, we gotta go and save the quarian before uh, you know it's too late. Along the way, we're gonna, they're gonna try and stop us. Even though Fist is dead and they're not being paid anymore. Out the way, guys. You're not being paid anymore. Oh, shit. Uh, what? What is? Why is there a? Oh, yeah. That that's for uh. That's for when we come back and the place isn't fucked up. It's this way. Wait, no, it's not this way. It's this way. You leave that super thick, hot quarian alone. She's sexy as hell. Did you bring it? And she will be Where's my the wife. Shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? Hey, no. hey, you're getting too handsy, buddy. Off. I gotta be a big, cool guy. I got a barrier. Check this out. My barrier is great. Don't shoot the keeper. He might kill us. Oh. Okay. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. I took care of him. Don't worry. I will never. I will never. No matter how renegade I am, I will never be mean to her. Were you hurt in the fight? You cannot pay me enough. I know how to look after myself. We all Not love her. Appreciate the She's the best. Who are you? I'm a friend. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. The ambassador's office. It's safe there. I want to see this anyway. I love you. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Why are there aliens here? This, the Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Shut your face. The Quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, miss. My name is Tali. Talizora Naraya. I love you. You don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. So, where the Solarians are fucking, like, the space nerds, the Quarians are, like, the cool space nerds. Right? See, the Solarians are that geeky girl in high school that no one talks to, and the Quarians are when the geeky girl takes her glasses off and lets her ponytail loose. Everyone loves the Quarians. They're cool. But they're also probably the most fucking stupid motherfuckers in the world. In the solar system. We're gonna learn a lot about the Quarians later. And how, even though how cool they are and how much we love Tally. How fucking just stupid they are. They are probably morally the worst. But I love you, though. Tell us what you found. 
During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Hell yeah. Saren won't get out of this one. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Corps, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. So... No one knows what happened to the Protheans, right? But the Geth somehow heard of these things called the Reapers. And through the Geth's... Whatever information we can get through the Geth, they believe that the Reapers are the ones that chased out the Protheans or hunted them down. So, some fuckery going on. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. Don't tell him. Don't tell him about the Reapers. They won't believe it. They won't believe you anyway. Just keep them out of this. We have to tell them. Even if they don't believe anything else, this proves Saren is a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tolly. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I no can. No questions here. <laughs> Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take so, Ashley, why are you here? Then meet us in the town. <laughs> why are you here, Ashley? So, Ashley, why are you here? Get the fuck off my team. The aliens are cool. I love how we're gonna do Renegade Rip, uh, Shepard, which in the first game is just I'm super alien racist. But the aliens are cool though, so like we're gonna hang out with the aliens. All right, cool. And then later on, we'll we'll learn how how awesome they are, and how to not be racist to the aliens. Alliance Protocol report: Captain Henderson reports some unusual energy readings during the patrol on Argos Ruach cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for the sector. Do we want to send a recon team? I'll be a recon team. I love you, Tally. You're my favorite. Don't know who the wife who's gonna be for this playthrough, but uh, well, for the well, your choices in this one. If uh, you're female, your choices are Kaiden or Liara, and if you're male, your choices are Ashley or Liara. So everyone just usually go for Liara because Kaiden's boring and Ashley's a racist. I might go for Ashley though. Maybe I never went for Ashley before. Anyways, uh. Tally here is an engineer, so she has low health, but she's good with the she's good with the mechanical things, right? And which means she's very valuable in fighting the Geth. 
Uh, let's see. What do I want to give her, though? AI hacking, which lets her control, which lets her control robotic enemies, including Geth, for a bit, I believe, right? Advanced. Uh, we'll now work on more advanced robots and all but the toughest robots. Yeah. So we're going to up her decryption because, see, I like uh, overload just damages shields. First aid, which is not really that important. Uh, marksman, unlock shotgun abilities, which might be pretty important for her. I don't know, she's pretty good with the, the dampening enemies. Cannot use bionic. Oh, sweet. And then this is her cooldowns. Increased tech resistance and stuff, so fighting Geth and shit would be good. Advanced Sabotage. I want to unlock her hacking as fast as I can. So we just need to level her up again. Right? That's how you unlock that? Just like another level, I think. I'm going to save the one point. Well says points. Oh, and you can't take off her helmet because that's why the Koreans are so cool. We don't know what's under there. Well, she got those. She got those thick ass thighs. So that's all we love. That's what. Well, that's all we need. Who cares what's under there? I don't care what's under there. Why would you? Come on, man. It's the future. It's the space future. Okay. Before we leave, though, we should go and pick up Garrus. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. A lot of people want my help these days. What makes you special? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. I can put in a word with the Embassy and speed things along. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral, and the respect she deserves. Sounds fair. Alright. I want to head to uh, the ward. Oh, well, I need to head back to uh, Kor's Den. Which, since now that we saved Tally, on our way to Kor's Den... Uh, where is it? On our way to Kor's Den, we should be attacked by some assassins. Most likely sent by Saren, I believe. Right? Assassins? Alright. While we're over here, we gotta do some things. Like this. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. Mm, where have I heard I that one know. before? I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Tough girl. <laughs> Tough girl. Yeah, okay. Commander. <laughs> what do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is the great Turian General. How did your kind ever defeat us? I may be drunk, Krogan, but you're ugly. And tomorrow I'll be sober. <laughs> now, unless you have a cure for this ache in my gut, go away. Some general. What kind of example are you to your troops? The troops can kiss my leathery backside. All I wanted was to retire and be with her. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Damn it. 
You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No. Those days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. You're a damn general. Quit your whining. Ha! <laughs> you got balls, kid. There are only five people in this damn galaxy who talk to me like that. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? It's better than sitting on your ass all day. Good words, Rex. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Now get up and get moving, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Hell yeah. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Let me fuck him up. Why would he think such a thing? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Mm -hmm. Why can't you tell him yourself? Well, the last time he saw me, I... I was disparaging his ancestors and... shouting his secrets in public. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to, and where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Awesome. Sub Harkin. Go away. Let me let me drink it in peace. Uh go away. Let me let me drink it. I don't know why I can't talk to Harkin. I'm busy. The other waitresses can help you. You steal my money? If you've got questions about Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. Hmm. Are you talking to me? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. What the hell was that about? Some weird shit. Find out. Sounds like a plan, though. And there seems to be, wait, is that in the, wait, that's not in the fucking club, is it? That quest? Yeah, no, it's not in the club. Okay. I don't think it is. Hold up. Let me see. Run my ass back here. See what I can find. Yeah, no, that's locked. I don't think I can, I can hack that, right? Oh, wait, no. What the fuck? The hell's back here? What are you guys doing back here? Let's see what the fuck is over here. Corbin, what are you doing? Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? Drop the act. I want to know what's going on, Shorbin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are- Quit stalling. Your friend, Jalid, told us about you. You... spoke with Jalid? Then you know about the data? Data? No, but you're gonna tell me. Everything. You boys can go. 
Okay. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jalid and I just got a little over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jalid and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the keepers? That's what all this fuss is about? The keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. See, there you go. They do blow up. Here, we still I knew I wasn't crazy. About them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jalid's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. <sighs> what the fuck is I wrong with you people? Both of you idiots. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? I like money. If it'll help further the scientific cause, how can I refuse? Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jalid. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jalid won't help me analyze it. If I have time, I'll talk to him. I'll do it for money. And happy scanning, Commander. All right. You can tell he's a ladies' man by the way he walks. <laughs> I love it. Stomping around like a fucking sexual tyrannosaurus. Anyways, we gotta head to the medical area. Oh wait, what? Did I not go down there before? I didn't. Oh shit, that was my first time down there. There's other stores down here. Moreland. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. We're gonna be hearing this oh, a lot. You will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Um. Uh... Okay. Grenade upgrade two, which I don't have the credits for. Meta gel upgrade. And the license. Insufficient for what? For the license? Many good supplies. Yes? I love that guy. Alright. We need to head to the medical area, because I believe that's where we will find Garrus. Also, I think I have what you want, Emily. Maybe? Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? Found some disc. These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> You've got Fist's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander. For your trouble. Thank you. I want more. <laughs> I had to kill people for these discs. They're worth more than you're offering. I didn't tell you to kill Fist. But you're right. I suppose that I did ask you to help me, so... Here. This should be more than adequate. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. <laughs> Did the good old anime plant your hand on the wall? You owe me. How's my renegade looking? Ah, it's it's getting there. It's trying its best. Hello, is anyone here? Any fun being had in here? Hello, Doctor. How are you doing today? Hello there, Commander. I'm Dr. Claude Michel. Is there something I can do for you? You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. 
I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. <laughs> Replenish my mana gel? Of course I will. Thank you. Where the fuck do I go for Garrus? <laughs> Uh, husband of the soldier who died. Complaints. Sorry, consort. Oh, wait, what? Oh, here we go. Speak to Harkin. You no longer need Garrus, however, he might still be able to help you against Saren if you happen to run into him. You might want to hear what he has to say. Oh, well I didn't speak to Harkin, because when I went in there, we shot up the place. That's why when I tried to speak to Harkin... Usually, usually I, uh... Oh, did I not scan you? Get your ass over here. Where the fuck... You know, get that. Let's head to CSAC. Uh, that would be the Presidium areas, right? No, it's not. It's the wards. Alright. Down here in the wards, I gotta go talk to... Who's a face? Who's face? What's his face? What's his name? Something for Jenna. Probably over here we'll... Oh, we also gotta talk to this guy over here too. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? Of course. I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You lied to us about the Keeper data. Uh, he told you i didn't mean for any of this to happen i was afraid shorbin would kill me to get the data so i well i was hoping you'd take care of you him. fucking coward relax i'm helping you out and i want money I'm scanning the keepers for shorbin but you two need to stop fighting you're you're helping us but well if you say so well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. Cool, now I kiss. The help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Great. Amazing. Fantastic. Detective Chellick, come in No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Careful. Watch your tone, Chellick. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. It's too dangerous. You need to find another way. It's not that simple, Shepard. This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Cool, tell me who to shoot. Always thinking ahead, Detective? It's part of the job. Now, are you going to help me or not? All right, what you need? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Where can I find this, Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Can you also tell me where the f Commander, been to see Jax yet? Damn it. I'll get to it soon. Good. Don't keep Jax waiting. Who the fuck? There's someone around here that can. You talk to someone around here, and they're like, "Yo, go it, it, fucking deal with Garrus." I think it's him. I'm pretty sure it's him.
Usually Garrus is the first one I go and grab, honestly. This is the first time I did this in a different order. So even though we don't need Garrus, why the fuck would I say no to Garrus? And it doesn't help that they're all Garruses. They're all Garrus. Head to the markets. Said he's in the lower level. Hello, Jax. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? I didn't come here to look. Show them the merchandise. That looks about right. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. I don't think so. Sure. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. That was pretty Paragon of me. I should have just shot him. I should have just shot him. I need to play more. I was just thinking he don't need to die. <laughs> Does he need to die? Should I shoot him? Heading back to C suck. Which is not in the Presidium. Which I gotta fucking remember that. It's in the wards. Alrighty. Where is... There we go. Are you Garrus? Commander, I hear you have something for me. Here's your shipment, Chelik. Excellent. This is everything I need. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it, and you've earned some payment for your work. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Now, I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. Okay, but like, where do I, where do I go and get gears, though? Officer? Oh, wait, no. I think I just, I think you might just meet Garrus on your way out. I still have more, I still have more Paragon than I do Renegade. I gotta stop it. I gotta be vicious. Hmm. I guess we can go and expose Saren now. Citadel Tower. Does this guy not have anything? Oh wait, hold up, there's something up here. Oh, it's Anderson. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Another traitor. She must be working with the Geth, too. 
Shoot her on sight. Kinesia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? I bet them? you are, you fucking Only what Sith Lord. Only from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. You just the heard the go? evidence. Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. Hello. Oh, he's talking about the Reapers. My bad. <laughs> I was like, I was like, we're standing on trace of their existence. Which we kind of are. I tried to warn you about Saren and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. You yeah, come down, Udina. Damn. Secure the entire region. Keep I have bloodlust, but not that much. Colonies, or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull. Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. How would you know if you don't let me do it, It was huh? a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council, and it was a human who exposed him. I've earned this. Start fucking, you see him. <laughs> you, I love how you see him flare up. Like he, sh he bears his fangs. Commander Shepard, step forward. I love how they vote on their little fucking iPads like it's goddamn America's Got Talent. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Fuck you. I've been ready for this since Eden Prime. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. I'll find him. This meeting of the council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Why are you yelling, Udina? He's right there. <laughs> Come on, man. Huh. Bastard didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. 
Right behind you, Shepard. Spectre bonus training is unlocked. Which means... Ta-da! We get access to more disc goodness. And then we get this. Increases health accuracy, effectiveness, and all attacks and powers. Beautiful. Who else has stuff for us? Let's see. Get immunity up there. Damage reduction. Make him tanky as fuck. Unlock your hacking skill, which is what we want. Cool. Alright, let's go fucking find Garrison, do the rest of the bullshit we gotta do. Finish up everything we need to finish up in the Citadel. Does this guy still not have anything for me? Because I feel like there's a quest with him. Hello, I'm waiting to sp Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre, Commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. Who told you I was a Spectre? I'm a senior officer with the Alliance. I knew about your candidacy before the Normandy was sent to Eden Prime. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. You got problems. Is something wrong, Admiral? I got solutions. I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. I'll look for them if I have time. Well, that's more than most will commit to. I'm gonna stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. All right. I'll upload the info on where my team was last seen near ship. Maybe you can get some answers. I hope he's okay. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? I'm not just some soldier. I'm a Spectre. I'm a goddamn Spectre. Put respect Spectre. on my name. I heard they were thinking about letting humans into the ranks. About time. Well, that means you can go anywhere you want, right? Even out into the Traverse? You're damn right I can. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. All right. Let me see if there's any other person around here that has stuff for me. Doesn't seem like it. Let's go find Garrus. And I believe there's two things I gotta do. I think I gotta go talk to that girl about her sister, and I think I have to... Have to go... I have to go... Where the fuck do I gotta In go? Other news Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. I gotta go to the uh, Elcor ambassador. The survey team was suddenly cut off last week. Or Company embassy. Officials refused to comment. How far is the embassy from here? Also, do I have enough... Renegade now to tell the Hanar to fuck off? Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? 
or has the honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. Get there the is no intent fuck out of trouble. here. I don't care about your intent. You're making all Hanar look like troublemaking zealots. This one does not wish to prejudice the listeners against the Hanar. You Hanar deserve what you get. You're either too snobbish or too stupid to follow simple rules. This one will obey. It does not wish to prejudice other species against the Hanar. This one departs now, and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. Nine energy points. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. I did my job. Somebody needed to set that thing straight, and it I'm a Spectre, wasn't damn it. Be you. you have already demonstrated your ability. I acknowledge it, and I will learn from your example. Good. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Renegade. Fuck yeah, Renegade. All right. Uh, where the fuck else do I have to go? Uh, I'm, I gotta go, ugh, it's on the other side, right? I'm trying to think, would it be faster if I just, wait, my bad, there's a fast trash, fast trash, there's a fast uh, travel thing over here, what the hell am I doing? I'm an idiot. Give me to the consort. Good, good, good. Did I scan you? I did. That's right. It was a long time ago, though. I barely remember. What drew you back to the city? Into the consort? I remember that. Hello, consort. I think I did the thing you asked me, I, I believe. That's not so Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Great. Let's talk about my payment, though. I can't spend gratitude. I would not dream of letting you go without payment. I do not make a habit of incurring debts. These credits will cover your expenses. I also have one more thing to give you, if you're interested. What is it? What are you offering me? I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through, proud, solitary, alone. But it gives you strength. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. So, here's a point where, uh, she offers the gift of words, and you can take that, right? Perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that. But if you're not happy with it, I believe she can also suck your dick. <laughs> and I'm not sure if that's a renegade option or not, but Chad Wellington has way more respect for himself than that. But, I do need Renegade points. Because I'm really hurting in those right now. So. Uh, thanks, I guess. Close your eyes and relax, Commander. And then she fucks you in front of your... <laughs> in front of your... <laughs> in front of your crew. So the way the Asari have sex is through mind fuckery. Or you can just have sex. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words. Plus two renegade. You know what? I don't think it was worth it. Was that cool, Liara? Uh, Liara. Was that... 
<laughs> hey, Liara, you saw that? They built a lake on a space station. I can't even imagine the resources needed to maintain it. <laughs> yeah, Tally saw that and she's like, uh huh, there's gonna be a lake, all right. Making Tally all moist. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Who's texting me? About some bullshit. How long have I been going for? Eh, I've been going for a bit. <clears throat> uh, what, what do I want to do right now? Actually, real quick, I need to... What the hell? That's so weird. Why why did I get this message like super late? Oh, okay. It's a different message I'm getting. All right, cool. Cool, cool. All right. So I did that. Where is our fast travel system? Cool. Need to head back over towards Not cores then. Flux. The fuck's going on over here? Ah, uh, huh. All right, you took that like a champ. Yeah, what is it? The fuck? Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. And yet here you are, cheater. I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. Explain. It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Ain't that still cheating, though? Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. Let me do it. I'll help you out. Huh. I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. That so, uh, itself. you can easily just walk up to this guy and rat him out and hand him the device. Right? Or, you can just cheat make some money I recommend not doing it in front of that dude though I'm not sure if he can actually like catch you because I've never actually did it wait what I have no idea what the fuck just happened. What? I add eight. I add four. Oh, I guess I have to use it as a specific machine then. Low stakes. Suspicious gambling machine. Someone rigged this machine to funnel credits their way. I'll run a trace. 
Good job, girl. Um. Am I not? Okay, what is this? Get close to 20 without going over. Oh, so it's just, it's just fucking 21, but it's 20. 14 or less is zero credits. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see. Add eight. Another eight. Add four. Nice. Am I not? Did did I not? Did I not do what he asked me to do? Am I am I fucking what what's going on here? Oh, uh, you discover a signal being used for the money from gambling machines to private account, trade systems. I'll find out. Blah blah blah. Scan the keepers. Oh, there's two I'm missing. Okay. Let's see. Scan the machines. Am I not? Am I not scanning the machines? Didn't we just... Didn't we just scan the machine? Am I, am I bugging? <laughs> well, while I'm here, let me just talk to Jenna. Or Rita. Or whoever the fuck -a. Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. No problem. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. And yet, you seem less than pleased. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. Ah, uh, at least she's alive. I'm waiting for someone else. <laughs> sitting, walk into a party, fucking sitting there with, uh, with two drinks in your hand, and you're like, oh my god, you good? I'm waiting for someone else. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? Goodbye. Hmm. Enjoy your what can I do for you? Bucks. Goodbye. Don't often see someone getting as lucky as you. Why you say that? You think I'm cheating or something? <laughs> I'm not cheating. I'm just a smart guy. There's Jenna. Hey, Jenna. How you doing, girl? Hey there. Welcome to Flex. All right. So, uh, did I not do what you wanted me to do? So, did you record five wins with the device yet? Oh, I gotta get five. Okay, not yet. I'm getting to it. Well, don't wait forever. So how many wins that I just had? I think I had like two. Oh shit, I'm gonna go over. Damn it. Hey. 
Your luck seems unnatural, human. What are you talking about? I'm not even using the tool. I'm just doing it. Chill out. All right. See this one? I'm going to add four and seven to it. All right. You know, it goes three times, right? As long as I'm over 15. Oh, well, it's the high stakes one, actually. Well, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Shut up. See? I lost. Damn it. One to eight. Four to seven. Four to seven. See, I'm good. All right. See, I lost some money in, in the in the thing. All right. Calm down, dipshit. So, did you record five wounds with the device yet? You bet. Here you go. I hope it's what you're looking for. Excellent indeed. This will provide me with invaluable data. You enjoy those winnings. I'm going to get the system completed. Great. Awesome. Fantastic. I thought that would give me renegade points. Okay. Now, to the embassy. Have I been in the financial di- I have, right? I think there's a keeper in there I didn't scan, though. Oh, I forgot. I gotta go talk to somebody for you, right? That's closed. All right, here you go, loser. Strange greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving, I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. You are mistaken. See this here if you don't believe us. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Deal with it, bitch. Just make sure you leave Shaira out of it from now on. Agreed, most assuredly. It is clear that the consort was blameless. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. Whatever. So long. Farewell, human. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. You damn right I did. Alright, need to scan one more keeper, which I do not know where the fuck it's at. It might be over here, or in the financial district. Is there a keeper in this room? In one of these corners? Oh, no, I think it- my bad. It should be at the- not- not the consorts, but near the consorts? Or is it the financial- I think it actually is the financial district. Wherever the fuck that, like, little room is at? Where's like that one balcony thing? I think that's the last keeper I didn't I didn't do anything with. Or could it be over here? Keeper, are you out here? 
Hello, little buddy. I don't think I scanned you. Did I? I did. Oh, fuck. What do you want, sir? My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. I am. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? You can cut the red tape for a grieving husband. I want you to release the body of Nerali Bacha. Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid, though, that it's not quite that simple. What do you want me to do? Who I gotta shoot? Nerali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. I don't care how badly the Geth mangled the body. It's the husband's right to claim her. Excuse me. We are Did not, not mean for that to happen. Bhatia's body out of discretion. We are, frankly, holding the body for research. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. At least body, dickhead. You know who and what I am. If I want Nerali Batia, I can get her. Commander, I, I don't think threats are necessary. Uh, even if the body were here on the Citadel, would you really risk going in shooting to get it? Fuck yeah. You said you'd been briefed on me. You should know that I don't leave fall. I'm a fucking psychopath. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Hell yeah, renegade, 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 renegade for life. Yo, you got a keeper in here? <laughs> I need to scan shit. Damn it. Look at Rex run. I love him. What's in here? Was there a keeper in here? Did I not scan you, little buddy? Aw, oh, damn it, I did. Why is there an X? On my fucking map. Oh, I'm guessing that's her, uh... Avina? Yeah, it's her Avina. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? Your wife is coming home, Mr. Batya. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness. But it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye, sir. Have a wonderful life. Well, I mean, yeah, dude. sorry for your loss. <laughs> Have a wonderful life. She's dead. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, one quick last look in the financial district to see if I can find that fucking, that stupid bug. Have I been in this room? I have, I talked to him. Cool. Have I been back here though? Damn it, I did, I scanned you. Fuck. Hey, uh, Tally. Where the fuck? Look at all the shit we gotta do. Uh. You approach Kind of Verna, he seems like a harmless fan. Probably haven't seen the last of him. Probably talk to him again, that's it, when you do more shit. New vids, in the case survey team, blah blah blah, usual reading, strange blah blah blah, scan the keepers, there's one somewhere. Tracking the signal. From the ward's access corridor. I don't think I scanned the keeper in the in the corridor. Got a moment, Spectre? I do. Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. That's amazing. I've got plenty to do already. Of course you do. But this would be easy work for you, and I pay extremely well. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. Not a problem. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. 
Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. I can't wait to shoot you, Miss Old Lady. Little old lady, we're gonna shoot an old lady in the face. Alright. Should be towards, uh... Towards Den, I believe. We do that, and then, uh... Yeah, it's over here. Who's scanning shit? Did I scan you? I did, damn it. I thought you said Tali. I could get used to living like this. I thought you said it was it was over here somewhere. Am I wrong? You said it was in like one of the one of the corridors in the in the ward. That leads to CSAC, I believe. Or, no, that leads to the, uh... The, what you call it? Place we just came from. Peridium, or whatever the fuck it's called. This is the market area. Hmm. Tally, where the fuck is the scan? Check down here. Hey, Commander Shepard. Good to see you again. Anything you need? I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. See you around, buddy. Tali. You said there was a you said there were some scanning shit going on around here. Where is it? Coming from the ward's access corridor. What the fuck is the access corridor? Other way, blah blah blah. Oops. for the fucking access corridor. I don't... I honestly don't know where it's at. <laughs> Welcome to the ward. Is it this one? Is it in here? Who's doing illegal shit? I don't, I don't know where the access corridor is. Is it the fucking, is it like... Hold up. 
wards access. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right. What kind of fuckery is down here? Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel. And That's cool, we're skipping it. This is how we mask loading screens. I haven't even been in the access corridor before. Holy shit. Completely forgot about this area. So how are you liking your posting at the academy? It's good. Busy though. Looks like they bounced their signal off a relay. I'll trace the new signal. Where is it? Don't just say you trace it. Tell me where it's at. The financial district. What else is in here? Oh, my last keeper. I did it. Awesome. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded... We're skipping all this bullshit. Oh, it was that door. Uh, wait, did I not? Oh, because it was an elevator, that's why. I saw the elevator and I just thought, like, oh, it'll, it'll fucking put me someplace that I don't want to be. Where the fuck is the fast travel shit? I was supposed to end this fucking this uh, stream a while ago. <laughs> I did not mean to go this long. Okay, uh, we're heading to the financial district, and then we're gonna head towards the Normandy. And I'm pretty sure on the way there, Garrus will fucking show up. Hey there, Mister Dude. You taking money? Another relay. Whoever it is, they're somewhere on the Presidium. Wherever it is, they're about to get a fucking bullet in the face. Who's doing it? It's you, isn't it, you Solarian? This is it. I'll see if I can find out where those stolen credits are going. Probably I remember what this is. 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. Or not. Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. Hey guys, this is why AI is illegal. Crap. I thought we were tracing credits, not hunting an AI. You could simply walk away. However, given organic prejudice against AIs, I would be naive to trust you to leave peacefully. Hence my alignment of core systems to enable a self-destruct sequence. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. You're bluffing. There's no way you could get explosives onto the Presidium. Not raw explosives, no. But I did obtain technical systems that, when overstressed, will explode quite effectively. If you attempt to leave or attack me, I assure you that the explosion will kill you. Uh -huh. I got bullshit. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. Sounds like a fucking plan. Oh shit, I don't know how to do this. Oh, okay.
Fuck you. <laughs> you basically just have to memorize the code. Trial and error. Well, now he's... Now, uh, now that's settled, and AI is probably dead. Most likely. Yeah, complete. AI's dead. Great. Uh, find him in the cluster. Vernon will show up after more missions are done, I believe, or after you leave and come back. Head over there. Head over there. Great. Okay. So, I believe we have done pretty much everything we can do right now on the Citadel. So we're going to head on over to the landing bay, the docking bay. And I think Garrus will join us over there. Is it in the warts? I believe it's in CSEC. Are you Garrus? Oh! <laughs> Hi, Garrus! Congratulations, Shepard. Heard they made you a Spectre. I'm glad somebody got the Council to see Saren for what he really is. Huh? Alright, so what you doing Something here? I can help you with, Garrus? I resigned from CSEC after the Council ignored my investigation. I was sick of all the politics. You're the only one who seems to be doing anything about Saren. Let me come So, with if I went and talked to Harkin first... You would then, you know, you, you convince him or whatever, and then he'll tell you where Saren's going. He's sent to the medical bay or whatever. And during that, there's a cool little action sequence where, uh, where like the doctor's being attacked by some people, and then Garrus fucking walks in, and it's all action, it's all actiony and shit, and he shoots a dude in the face. It's fucking cool as shit. Why are you hating on Saren? You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't prove it in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council, and a disgrace to my people. I... Welcome, Welcome to the party. Harris. You won't regret this, Shepard. Hell yeah! See, now I have a problem as to who I want on my team. <laughs> you have Rex, and you have Garrus, and then you have Tally, and then no one cares about Asher or Kaiden because they're both fucking lame. Right? So... Depends on where we're going first. Uh, are we even going to be where, where we're going first? Are we even going to be fighting? Well, it, do, it doesn't really matter right now. Hi, Garrus. Doesn't matter. I'm losing my, my, uh, I'm losing my mind right now. Couldn't I'm speak. I'm surprised that you're willing to kill your own, Rex. Aren't the Krogan just a few generations away from extinction? You don't get it. For all your talk of honor and pride, the Turians never had to test their principles in a real struggle. Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business. Killing the former is a favor to the universe. You guys are so fucking cool. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, do I not need to scan this one? Does this one not count? I guess if you were missing one, you would you would be able to scan it, maybe. Because I, I completed the fucking... The mission. So. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. Great, now I can kick Ashley it's off my fire, fucking crew. You know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. This isn't right. The Normandy belongs to you. You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The Conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Novaria. 
Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. And what about the Reapers? The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I am on it. I'll stop him. We I'll miss you, Keith David. Lead. Matriarch You're my favorite. Venezia, the other voice on that recording, she has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her, see what she knows. Her name's Liara, Doctor Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was Tassoni. What about to Microsoft? The worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. And to Nintendo, and to Sega. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't. Wait, what? We'll head. We'll head to. Uh, we'll head there. I Sounds guess. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess, and I get stuck cleaning it up. Well, that's your job. I'll Deal with it, Udina. You take care of the political fallout. You're ready to suck that's some exactly alien dick. the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a specter. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Now I'm good. Fuck you, Anderson. Bye. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Decontaminate these fucking filthy ass aliens. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Stop talking to me like that, Joker. I'm a Spectre Sam's now. Go fuck yourself. Something. And we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's yeah. the time. Now we're doing it my way. <laughs> Listen up, Normandy. This is your commander speaking. Look at me. We I am the captain now. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. And I refuse to let anything get in the way of that mission. The council wants to ignore this. That's no surprise. They've never helped us in the past. No reason they'd start now. But we don't need their help. We can do this on our own. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. None of the other species has the guts, grit, or balls to deal with this. <laughs> so it's up to us. We're the only ones who can stop Saren. I swear to you all, we will stop What him. the fuck? <laughs> say, Commander. Captain will be proud. Fuck him. The captain's not here. I'm in charge now, Joker, and time's wasting. Get this bird in the air. Yes, sir. Uh, none of the none of the other species are willing to do anything. Zooms in on it. Zooms in on the most renegade of the party, by the way, which is Garrus isn't as renegade as he will be in uh two, but Rex is super renegade, and so is Ashley. Uh, none of the other species got the fucking balls to do this. They all suck. So I believe, um, I, I actually want to go and talk to fucking Rex and, uh, <laughs> Rex and Garrus just to see what the fuck happened there. I want to see if they got anything to say. And then after that, I believe they're both hanging down here, actually. And after that, we're just going to take a quick on look. At uh, what's his face? It actually, you know what? He's right there. Might as well just talk to him, have him explain it. Hey, Commander, looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Alright. What are licenses? 
Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of products. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. Yeah, so basically, here's how this kind of works. Every time you enter and leave the Normandy, his stock changes. And depending on the licenses you have will depend on the type of equipment you can get. And there is a de facto, like, best equipment for, like, all, you know, best armor, best weapon and all that stuff, right? We'll be getting that because it's not too hard to get. They make it sound like it's that hard to get, but it's not really too hard to get. The most hard thing about it is just like having the uh the randomness be in your favor to have the ability to buy it right then and there and having the credits for it not right now thanks no problem Keep checking back. all right you got anything to say Garrus? thanks for bringing me on board commander i knew working with the specter would be better than life at csec all right i gotta go commander. if Garrus ain't got nothing to say about it then i'm guessing no one else got anything to say about it what about you ashley commander Goodbye. Dismiss, Chief. <laughs> Sir. Sir. <laughs> Snide ass remark. My favorite thing is when uh you don't have any if 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 a character doesn't have anything to say, they'll have like a stock line, and Rex's stock line is that you just walk past him and he goes, Shepherd. <laughs> and then and then you go, Rex. Nice ship you've got, Shepherd. What can I do for you? Nothing. Shepherd Rex. <laughs> and that's the best. Alrighty. I've been going for approximately off the top of my head, probably five hours. I don't know, let's check. Seems like a pretty good time to quit. Yeah, literally five like five hours and eight minutes, so around the five hour mark. Good. Alright. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna save my game, right? And then next time I stream, I will let you guys know via the community tab over at the YouTube, which you can follow me on YouTube, uh, subscribe and all that other bullshit, um, and watch the playthroughs that come out there or the other videos, right? You know, if you are going to watch a playthrough, I recommend the uh, Resident Evil 5 co-op playthrough. Right? It's just that those episodes are going to take a bit to come out because I have to manually edit the audio in those because uh, some of the audio got fucked up. A lot of the audio got fucked up. Not my audio. My co-op partner's audio. A bit too loud. Right? Um, so they done fucked up. Right? Uh, and then besides that, you can follow me on Twitter. Right? If there's any thing you want to send to me on Twitter you know if you got fan art or something like that send it to me if you have fan art uh, send it to me you know and then I'll I'll take that put it up at the beginning of the stream put your put your Twitter account up there too your at right and I'll do all that fancy stuff fun stuff right uh, what else is there say yeah you can go down to the about me and all the links are there for uh, the YouTube and stuff like that all that amazingness, right? If you want to support me directly, grab yourself a, you know, a sub, right? Tier 1 sub over at the Twitch. You get some emotes out of it, right? And then, um, that's pretty much it for that. I don't think there's anything else I want to say. Uh, oh, I might, um, change over to the PC version of this, right? depending on uh depending on if i have time to uh redo all the things that i just did right and then therefore chad wellington can maybe look better and maybe we can put on some mods not not nothing too crazy right but some mods to just help the flow of the game a little bit better excuse me and that's pretty much it so as always i want to say thank you for those who came to watch and i will see you in the next video, the next stream, whatever the hell you decide to watch. So, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.